The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame in these situations have not played well against top 10 competition over the last decade. They're hoping to turn that around tonight. Back to Jamie with Brian Kelly. Coach, you said this week we would see the best of Ian Book tonight. What does that play look like to make sure you steal one in Athens? I don't know. I probably should have said he's going to need to play his best tonight. So What kind What kind of play is that, though? Well, he's got to be consistent in the pocket. You know, he starts getting outside the pocket, you know, he's doing too much. So be consistent in the pocket. We'll give him time. He needs to deliver the ball accurately. You've been in a lot of great games. Have you seen a scene like this before? Yeah, we've seen some, but this is really nice. They've done a great job of creating a home atmosphere here and got to play through it. Road Warriors, right? Yes, absolutely. Thanks, Coach. Not quite the scene at Notre Dame Stadium two years ago when there was a sea of red on their home field. There's yeah. not a lot of Notre Dame fans in this building. Agreed, but I don't know if there's another team in college football that's more prepared to play in big game atmospheres than Notre Dame. I mean, they don't want them, but they know what it's like to play in them. Exactly. You just saw the graphic of something I mentioned earlier with 500 additional seats added to the west end zone. This is the largest crowd to ever watch a football game in this state. 75 degrees. It is perfect. Notre Dame won the toss. They want the football. Only the third meeting ever between these two teams. The aforementioned one two seasons back. And then championship win by Georgia following the 80 season in the 81 Sugar Bowl. Rodrigo Blankenship's got it teed up. Williams and Keys are back deep for Notre Dame. And as Rodrigo does so many times, a touchback. So they'll bring it out to the 25-yard line. Let's take a look at our starting lineups presented by Chick-fil-A. And here's the book on Ian. Eight touchdowns coming off a record-breaking performance for him. 360 yards and five touchdowns in the win over New Mexico last week. 11-1 and one as a starter. That lone loss was to Clemson in the playoff game. Started out the season a little jittery in the pocket, and that's why Brian Kelly was telling Jamie, I want him to handle the pocket. That's our best chance. We'll take the other stuff after he does the pocket right first. Three wideout group of Claypool, Fink, and Keys for Brook on first down at the 25. They fake the toss, he comes up throwing, and fires complete to commit his tight end. And he's got positive yardage and picked up about seven. So we take a look at the rest of the lineup, and lo and behold, who did we highlight? Yep. Right there, Komet. Back from an injury and in the lineup, and he makes a difference, Gary. He does, because they can also use Tremble, number 24, as an H-back, able to split him out when they use two tight ends. He's almost a slot. It should keep Georgia's base defense on the field. That's Komet in motion. Jones behind Book. On second down and three, and it's an end around. Lawrence Keys, and he's got the edge, and he's got the first down of them, so out across the 40 to the 41 yard line before the Georgia Bulldogs can track him down. Eric Stokes made the tackle. Two years ago, the longest run from scrimmage, scrimmage against Georgia was eight yards, and that was by the quarterback. How does Notre Dame run the ball? It'll be like that, non-traditional runs, not line up at eye back and try to block them all, try to finesse them with their run game early. Jeff Flanagan is our referee. play was over. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 74 on the offense. The play made a first down after a 15-yard penalty. It'll be first down in 10. There's Eichenberg right there with a yeah, the hit. And it, not necessary. Remember what Kirby told Jamie. We want to play with controlled emotions. Right there early in the game, Eichenberg's trying to be physical. You know it's been preached all week. Be physical and does too much early in the game. So even though they got a first down, it backs him up just outside the 25-yard line again. Eric Stokes, I think the cornerback is the guy that's down. And they're already low on cornerbacks. Yeah, Tyson Campbell did not dress for the game. 
they lose Stokes, it would be two out of their three best defensive backs could be lost for the game. Well, at least corners. I probably right. should rephrase that. And yeah, we'll check on him as he is helped to the sideline. The new sporty GLC. Come on, it's so late. Great. It fights traffic. Fights tension. Seriously? Did you take my phone? Passenger light on. It even fights fighting. Innovation that keeps people together. The 2020 GLC. At least the GLC 300 SUV for just $479 a month at your local Mercedes Benz dealer. The spending your days playing <laughs> while still getting a check plan. Let us help with your plan. Yep, every month. Great. Sounds like a plan. Start a plan that flexes with yours. New York Life. Home. Enjoy. It's so much more than a house. It's where the team comes together. By making the complex simple, Rocket Mortgage created a home buying experience centered around you. Personalized and convenient. So you can turn your dream into reality and your house into home. Rocket Mortgage. Push button, get mortgage. Sonic's got all my fair faves. Cheddar peppers, 99 cent corn dogs, Oreo a la mode. I love the fair. All the prizes you can win. Totally. Did you win all those? <laughs> Winnings for suckers. <laughs> I bought these. Hurry in. Fair faves start at 99 cents and order ahead for happy hour anytime. They say opposites attract. So, uh, is uh, today like a day off for you? Yes. Goodbye. We'll see. Bob Hart's Ever Show will premiere CBS Monday. Want more stats? Hey Siri, who leads college football in rushing yards? No score here early in the first quarter. Let's go back to that last play. Eric Stokes. Yeah, that happened to Stokes on the tackle. Watching between the legs, the right ankle of Stokes buckles when he hit, makes the kick against Keys right there. I think he just slightly tweaked or turned his ankle. Tyron McGee comes into the secondary and he goes into the tent. And it's first down for Notre Dame after that penalty at their own 26-yard line. And now they just jumps. And it might have been Aaron Banks or Eichenberg. Offense number 74. And five That's yards. two mistakes by first Eichenberg. Down. The opening yes. minute. And probably their highest regarded offensive lineman who's a veteran. Senior out of Cleveland, Ohio. As you take a look at the Georgia defense, J.R. Reed is the leader of that back end of the Georgia defense, without a doubt. First down at 15 with another Notre Dame penalty. Ian Book across the middle, and again, he's got Kinnett, his tight end across the 30, and he's still not down. Takes a whole pound of dogs. To at least stand him up. Yeah. I think the forward progress is going to go back to about the 31 yard line, though. But so far in this game, Chip Long has Ian Book getting that ball out of his hands quickly, using his tight ends, and trying to avoid that early pass rush with the quick passes. Yeah, and that time that 10 yards, take cover the number 30, they just all ran it down. He's got three catches on which he's got a first down and he's all the way out to the 46 yard line. So we knew he was going to be a great addition. We didn't know it was going to be this big this early as Stokes heads to the Georgia locker room. Brad, I was listening to the uh, Notre Dame football game and listening to Doug Flutie call the, one of the games last year. And he said, you know, they always get on a quarterback for throwing off his back foot. Sometimes you've got to do it. <laughs> and that time he did it well. This time he steps into the throw and goes deep. Incomplete intended for Chase Claypool. DJ Daniel was back there and had good coverage. Claypool is his leading receiver with nine catches for close to 200 yards coming into this game through two weeks. He comes out. And again, the jet sweep, the keys going right this time. And this time, Georgia plays the edge well, and D.J. Daniels runs him out of bounds. 
A loss of one. Yeah, and, and that time that Georgia defense wings and take powder number 30. They just all ran it down. Okay, going man, sideways. Really That's why you recruit these when guys. Keep the pushing it wide. Push it wide. And then you're going to be inside. It's a little bit of 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 a Sierra SLE crew cab and double cab models with a traditional tailgate. Tailgate like a pro. GMC. Oh, ah, I got it! Oh! <laughs> to start a college savings plan, find an advisor at massmutual.com. Are you going out tonight? What? No. But you have your coat on in the castle. Uh, and everyone's all dressed up. Are they? Well, maybe it's laundry night, something mm. like that, probably. And you're drinking Bud Light Platinum. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. Just let's go quickly. Don't wait up. Bud Light Platinum. Did you ditch him? Oh, yeah. He doesn't have a clue. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Bud Light Platinum. Brewed for the night. Relationship status. Mm -hmm. Widowed. Favorite thing to do in bed? Mm -hmm. Uh, if I'm being honest, I really like Cuddle. Cuddle. Okay. The Unicorn premieres CBS Thursday. America's favorite kid genius, Sheldon Cooper, is back. Catch the season premiere of Young Sheldon at its new time Thursday at 8, 7 Central here on CBS. Sheldon's probably been watching this game. George is going to work inside its own 10 yard line on its opening possession. And Jake Fromm in an empty backfield, and now DeAndre Swift comes to join him. Comes up throwing. Complete out around the 14 yard line to Demetrius Robertson. As we take a look at our starting lineups presented by Chick fil A, and it all starts with number 11. Jake, the junior out of Warner Robins, 26 and 5 as a starter in a dog's uniform. First career start was Notre Dame two years ago. He said, You know, I didn't feel like it was that big a deal. I was more nervous when we came home the following week to play Samford. I said, Samford? <laughs> you ever seen anybody looser in a Friday meeting no. than Jake Fromm? Uh, he's, he's fun to be around. Second out of four. Throws left and into some traffic to Robertson again. So Demetrius Robertson back to back receptions. Here's how the rest of the dogs look. And of course, DeAndre Swift, a thousand yard rusher a year ago and probably headed in that direction again this season. So, new offensive coordinator James Coley decides, you know, Notre Dame's been hearing about that power offensive line all week, so I'm going to come out and space him out with some short throws. Soften him up wide before he tries to pound on him inside. That's James Cook in motion. The game is to Swift. Tripped a little bit. He hit the line of scrimmage. And we take a look at the Irish defense. Leading tackler coming in. Asmar, Bill Law. They really need the guys to set the corners on Laura and those guys on the edge because if Swift gets outside you, goodbye. Yeah, tackling in the secondary. In the secondary, the safeties for Notre Dame can't miss. They don't have to be physical. Just drag the guy down. Cooks in a slot with the tight end Warner. And again, he'll be on the move on second down and seven. Blitz coming. Fromm throws it to Swift. One-on-one. -on -one. A good tackling like Gary just said. And an excellent job there by Drew White. 
Let's check in with Jamie. Well, I know it looked like an ankle at first when Eric Stokes went into the medical tent. It's actually his right knee, but if there's any optimism there for Georgia, he did jog into the locker room, but he's still in there at the moment, guys. All right, Jamie, thanks. But technically, the knee is attached to the ankle, so it's partially <laughs> yeah. right. It's the leg bone is connected to the whatever. <laughs> exactly. Third down and nine. Georgia has been pretty good on third down now, through their first three weeks. They have elite pass rushers. Can they put some pressure on Fromm? Got six guys up there close, and they're bringing an extra one, and it's a screen to Swift, but it's a great open field stop again. And Jack Lamb, number 31 that time, is their middle linebacker in their dime package. The scouting report going into this game was number 31 has to draw the blocks, get back in there, and tackle the check down. If you talk to Clark Lee, the defensive coordinator, he says if Lamb tackles the check downs, we'll be okay. Chris Fink waits on Jake Camaro's punt. the penalty marker down. I think two men in motion that time. Ball starts. Offense number 70. Five-yard penalty. Fourth down. Warren McClendon, the freshman, is flagged for the false start. So instead of fourth and 13, it's fourth and 18. And they're getting dangerously close Somebody to their own goal line. needs to tell Kirby to do the controlled emotion in the first <laughs> <quarter>. <laughs> Who tells the, co the guy that tells you, right? Scott Sinclair, their strength coach, is usually the guy that grabs him by the belt. He looked like a little emotional. Right there. Ooh, they got some heat on the punter, but he got it away. It affected the punt. And it's going to go up. That went out. It went out about, about the 40-yard line. It's going to be great field position for Notre Dame. They're still walking it up to see where they're going to spot it. I think Gary's right on it. I think. At any rate, 40. Bad punt. Great field position for Notre Dame. So far, they're off to a good start defensively, and their offense back on the field when we come back. All right. Yeah, thank you. Quality time by Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Whose dog is this? It's my special friend Antonio. His luxurious fur calms my nerves when I'm worried about moving into our new apartment. Why don't we just ask Geico for help with renter's insurance? I didn't know Geico helps with renter's insurance. Yeah, and we could save a bunch too. Antonio, fetch computer. <laughs> Antonio. I'll get it. Get to know Geico and see how much you could save on renter's insurance. This watch tells time and takes phone calls and communicates with satellites thousands of miles above the earth and tracks your distance underwater and tracks your activity and tells you which direction you're going and has an app that measures the electrical waves traveling through your heart, otherwise known as an electrocardiogram. So, just to reiterate, this watch tells time, among other things. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Connection by Jersey Mike. Be a sub above. Believe that we've been neighbors for a year? Feels like so much longer, right? Let's go! The Neighborhood season premiere CBS Monday. Adam Zucker in New York with this Papa John's update. Biggest upset of the day so far. Pitt. They call this the Pitt special. Looks like the Philly special. But after seeing UCF score 31 straight, Pitt with that play. And they give UCF their first loss at number 21, Virginia. Saw Old Dominion come to town and score the first 17, but they are on the board. Down 10, heading toward halftime. Ness, Gary, back to you. All right, Jack, thanks. Big win for Coach Narduzzi, huh? Yeah, I would say so, you know, and especially coming off the decision he made a week ago when yeah. he received so much criticism. That was only a 25-yard punt here. Yeah, we, we looked as close as we could. No one touched this football, and I just feel that he felt the pressure up front and just kind of missed it. And that miss sets Notre Dame's offense up at the 40-yard line. 
Eric Stokes is back out of the locker room. Appeared to be running okay on the sideline. Keep it on the ground, Tony Jones, about a yard, that's it. Coming into the game, Jones and Ian Book were both at 127 yards through two weeks as far as their leading rushers. Yeah, I, I think if you would ask me what's the biggest difference between the two teams, groups against groups, the Georgia running back group kind of is so powerful and yep. game-breaking, and the Notre Dame group does not have that guy yet. To emerge. Georgia has been stingy, allowing only 61 yards a game on the ground. Another false start. False North start. Noise is getting Offense to him. Offense number 72. Five-yard penalty. Second down. I was on the field before the game, and I said, Brian, your team is better than it was two years ago. What'd you tell him? And he said, I said exactly that. We're better at receiver. We're, we're veteran team. You guys want to be elite? Go out and beat an elite team, and you'll be elite. Midway through the first quarter, neither team has drawn blood yet. Empty backfield, not second and 14. Book, pressure coming over the middle, high this time, incomplete. That was intended for Claypool. You know, and Ian Book in the first games has started off rather slowly. Two for five in the first game for 21 yards, and then five for 10 for 48, but he threw for 360 in the total game. So both games, he got off the slow starts against this Georgia elite football team. You can't waste a series. Third and 14. Here comes a blitz. Look. Across the middle, nice throw. Tony Jones is going to be short of the first down, but they got it all the way to the 31, and this might be a decision for Brian Kelly. Well, well designed play this team time. Saw the blitz coming, gets the matchup on the running back that he wants. Watch Book by time, goes to the inside, and should have creased it. I mean, you got to kick those heels. They're going on fourth. You saw that graphic about their fourth down conversions a week ago. This is fourth down at two in a big situation here early in the game. Kelly's calling timeout. Gonna think about it. So his quarterback will go over and have a chat with him. Remember, Brian Kelly's not as young as he was, and he sprinted over here to get that timeout. <laughs> now... 6.53 remaining first quarter. We'll see what Notre Dame does when we come back. Plants capture CO2. What if other kinds of plants captured it too? If these industrial plants had technology that captured carbon like trees, we could help lower emissions. Carbon capture is important technology, and experts agree. That's why we're working on ways to improve it. So plants can be a little more like plants. At Verizon, we're building the most powerful 5G experience for America. That's why the NFL chose Verizon. Because they need the massive capacity of 5G with ultra-wideband, so more streaming, streaming, posting fans can experience 5G all at once. This is happening in 13 stadiums all across the country. Now Verizon 5G can do this for the NFL. Imagine what it can do for you. Fansville by Dr. Pepper. Go State! Go State! State! State? It's first words. <laughs> you are my son. State! Stinks! State stinks? <laughs> Dr. Pepper, the official drink of Fansville. You want to make yourself and your body happy? Eat this. Yeah? Like the cilantro with the onion and the jalapeno and like the tomato. You put that in your mouth and like your taste buds go crazy. I like crazy. Oh, I love it. Dream 
CBS Sports HQ, the 324-7 news coverage network that always is focused on the game. Get nonstop highlights, fantasy advice, and picks. Download the CBS Sports app to watch today. Don't forget, you can join Gary with the HQ team in our post-game show. You were HQing uh, earlier yeah, today. Yeah, over... Terrell Davis was over there. Listen, I think they got to go for this. On the road, an elite football team. Here's the value now of Ian Book. Georgia has to defend the quarterback on this play. Fourth down at two. They're five of six. Fourth down conversion so far this year. Notre Dame has struggled on short yardage situations, but they've been on third down. Maybe fourth down is more lucky for them. And the ball goes through the hands of Book. And he's in a heap of trouble. Comes up firing and almost completes it to Lawrence Keyes. And Georgia will take over on downs. Remember, the newest player on this team is Jarrett Patterson. The only new starter in the offensive line. And I think he snapped it before he should have. Georgia shifts and he snaps the ball. I think the Georgia, some type of vocal call, got Jarrett Patterson to snap it before Book wasn't ready. It's very fortunate that the ball did not hit the motion player going by. So you go for it, you take a timeout. You, you know, I've already said that Notre Dame should not be in awe playing on the road, but they've made all the big mistakes here. So. They have. So that gives the ball to Georgia at the 32 yard line. From under center. And it is DeAndre Swift trying to weed his way for about four. Number seven, Maybe only, only three. Dalen Hayes made the stop defensively. So Georgia hasn't gotten untracked on offense so far. They come in averaging 565 yards a game in offense, but you have to consider the competition of who they played. Just remember, Georgia is looking for the play action deep bomb on every play. If you're playing safety for Notre Dame, play safety. Stay back. They give the ball to Brian Harry. Stable of backs gets about three more, but it's going to bring up a third down. Georgia, one of the best teams in the country offensively on the ground. And as you see on the right hand side, Notre Dame 120th out of 130. So, so far, so good. They've done a nice job of slowing down the Georgia attack. Third down and four here. And remember, a lot of that was that opening Appalachia State game when they were not ready for that option game from Appalachia State. Oh, excuse me, against uh, Louisville, my, my fault, against Louisville. Kind of caught him off guard, took a couple three series to really find their feet. Dominic Blaylock, the freshman, was in motion. Pressure coming out from again. Throws, and he completes it to Tyler Simmons. And it's a first down for the Dogs at the 47-yard line. Jake Fromm could feel pressure to his left, but he knew he had a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Stepped up, delivered it, even though he had another guy coming right in his face, Gilman, number 11 that time, still delivered another strike. So at the five-minute mark of the quarter, Georgia with a first down out at the 47. Yeah, you know, there, there are like stats about uh, Fromm that, you know, he needs to throw less than 30 passes to win. But, boy, I've seen him at his best, and he's five for five. He's now legitimately, you can play him any way you want. He's a winning quarterback no matter what you do. Tyler Simmons on the end of the round. And Simmons, positive yardage. He got almost 10 more. George Pickens, a freshman wide receiver, got a good block out there for his teammate. So one of the changes and challenges for this Georgia football team so close back-to-back -back years to going into the national championship, they lost both coordinators, Jim Chaney on offense and Mel Tucker on defense. James Coley, he was here as a quarterback coach a year ago, has taken over the play calling, and you know you can still see his footprints on this game. There he is, his fingerprints right there is saying, spread them out, spread them out, spread them out, we'll hit them hard later. They can do just about anything they want on this down, second down and one, and it's a play action in front of Mike Warren at all, he's going to check down and go to Swift, and Swift run out of bounds, a loss of a yard. Oh, nice he's job got, defensively. Got a, a flag in the backfield as well. Holding. Offense number 66. Ten yard penalty. Second down. Solomon Kinley, the left guard, the guilty party. Georgia's offensive line is massive. Average about 325 pounds a man. 
getting back. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm afraid to circle because I don't know if I can make circles that big. <laughs> I'm afraid of going right outside the border here. The hold was against Myron Tangabaloa Amosa, the defensive tackle. And there's what I was talking about, 329 and 65. Notre Dame must move, stunt, use their quickness to their advantage against this big line. Here's a quick throw out in the flats. And again, with open field tackling, Matt Landers lost yardage that time on the catch. And that's the, exactly the tackling you have to have. Jeremiah Wusu-Koromora that time made that tackle in space. You can't let a one-yard play become a 20-yard play. Make the tackles, make them earn their yards. We always talk about yards after contact for a running back, but now in modern college football, yards after contact for a wide receiver may be a bigger stat. We haven't seen an explosive play yet from either team. Third down at 12. Big front, four-man rush. Pressured, robs one. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. He was hit as he threw by Julian Aquara. I don't, I don't know if he lobbed it or the ball squirted out of his hand because of the hit from Aquara. Steps to three. Yeah, he got hit as he let the ball go, and he just kind of squirted. He's very fortunate to get away with that one. His first incompletion. And there you see the heat in the first time Jake's hit the deck. And as Brent pointed out last year, a lot of you might not have seen it. Uh, Jake always flips the ball before he throws it, and that's he flipped it a little too late that time. A little late on the flip. <laughs> Camarda had a horrible first point. Let's see how he does the second time around. End over end. This one's better. And fair catch taken around the 14 yard line. So the Irish have it back on offense. We give you a, a reminder that tomorrow it's an NFL doubleheader highlighted by Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs and their home opener against Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. Followed by the Saints, they'll head into Seattle to take on the Seahawks. It all begins at noon Eastern. JB and the gang huddling up on the NFL today, presented by Jeep. Check in with Jamie. Well, Ian Book checked in with the offensive line during that last series off, and they actually decided it looks like you're going to go a clap cadence only from offensive line coach Jeff Quinn to make that decision. It's pretty noisy in here. Right now, Ian's under center. The straight give to Jones right up the middle. And he's out to the 19, maybe the 20. Clay Walker was the first guy to lead him defensively. Listen, we all know the type of uh, 1 through 85 talent that Kirby Smart has uh, recruited here at Georgia. They're legitimate, you know, with anybody. Clemson, Alabama, they've got just as good a talent as anyone in the country. But I know Notre Dame is happy to look over across that and see no Roquan Smith playing middle linebacker <laughs> for Georgia. He could erase a lot of mistakes. Yes, he did. Second down at five. George is going to bring an extra man. Book throws it out in the flat. Complete to Jones. Nice wheel and turn and first down. Richard LeCount knocked him off his pins, but Tony put his foot in the ground. A little spin move to get the extra yardage needed to move the sticks. I had to chuckle. Clark Lee, the, um, excuse me, Chip Long, the offensive coordinator for Notre Dame, when McKinley broke all those tackles last week for a touchdown, he said, I've been waiting for three years for a receiver. <laughs> and right there, when Jones makes a guy miss and makes a first down, that's what you got to do. They give it to Jones on the sweep to the left side, going for three or four before he's run out of bounds. Jamie was talking about they've had some issues here early in the game with the false start there on the left tackle, probably because of the noise and the bad snap. Could have been the same reason. And thus, the clap and silent counts for me and Book. I think there's only been one targeted ball to a wide receiver. All the rest have gone to tight ends and running backs for Ian Book so far. That tight end is Tommy Tremble in motion. Play action. Screen goes oh, what to Davis, and what a play it was by Tay Crowder. 
Avery Davis, kind of a multi-position player. They tried to get him out in some space and take Ryder said, uh-uh, not on that play. It's one thing to recognize the play. It's another thing to run it down before the Notre Dame offensive lineman can turn around and look for Crowder. He had split him and made the tackle. No chance for a pickup. Third down and nine. Now it's going to get loud in here again. Four-man rush, book back pedals, throws in the flat. Claypool, and Claypool's got a first down out to the 40-yard line. So there's his big 6'4", 230-pound wide receiver. I can't imagine that this is not a bust. Third and long, Claypool actually runs behind the line of scrimmage against a zone defense and picks up an easy 12 yards. That brings us to the end of the first quarter. Neither team has been able to score. Number seven and number three in Athens. Second quarter coming up in a moment. Hey, my name is George, and I love the Chick-fil-A grilled nuggets. It's like me grilling at home. It tastes very similar to that, except the seasoning. I, I probably can't season it as well as uh, Chick-fil-A does. The chicken's super tender, and honestly, the best nuggets I've ever tasted. My name is Meredith, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is the oven-toasted cheesy top layer. If home had a flavor, it would be Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese. I'm passionate about it. <laughs> and that's your basic three-point turn? If you say so. I'm sorry? What Pete sure isn't telling you is that Snapshot rewards safe drivers with discounts on car insurance. What? Or maybe he didn't know. I'm done with this class. You're not even enrolled in this class. I know, I'm supposed to be in ceramics. Room Do you know? 308. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Good luck, everybody. Evil series premiere, CBS this Thursday. We drive pink for Aunt Susie. For Helen. For my mom. And AutoNation drives pink to finish the fight against cancer. Get new Altimas or Rogues, just $2.99 a month. Sign and drive. Drive pink at AutoNation Nissan. Oh, I'm glad you found it. Oh, we were just happy to get some time away. You're the first couple to try our new bed and breakfast bundle. It's bed and breakfast in the same room. You wake up to the smell of coffee and bacon, made by a private chef, right there. So we're sleeping in the kitchen. Well, I'm sure you'll write it better than that for the review. Stuck in a bad bundle? Get a great one. Bundle AT&T Fiber and Direct TV and get a $100 reward card. Limit availability may not be in your area. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call one 877 only att Alexa, pause music. Seriously. <laughs> uh-huh. Lease a new 2019 Toyota RAV4 LE for just $219 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. Do you know how your energy use compares to similar homes? Neighbors Pam and Sam do. Over at Pam's house, they like to stay cool, especially at nap time. While at Sam's house, they leave everything plugged in everywhere all the time. Now, with the new FPL Energy Analyzer, Pam and Sam can compare their family's energy use to homes like theirs and find personalized ways to save energy and money. See how your home compares. Activate your FPL Energy Analyzer today. One step closer. One step closer. With each AutoNation pink plate, we get one step closer to driving out cancer. Lease the all-new 2020 Toyota Corolla for just $144 a month. Drive pink at AutoNation Toyota. The sticker that gives some Florida deputies permission to pull you over at 11. Back at Dooley Field, Sanford Stadium in Athens. Home Depot, SEC, and CBS. No score through the first quarter. We start the second quarter with Notre Dame. 
at the 42 yard line with a first down. And Tony Jones looking for somewhere to hide and he actually loses a yard on the carry. Brad Nestler, Gary Danielson, Jamie's down on the field. Uh, Notre Dame came in a big underdog. They've had some penalty issues through the first 15 right. minutes. What's the best thing they've done so far? I'd say make tackles. They haven't missed anything. You know, uh, uh, from is completing passes, but nothing big so far. As long as they tackle in space, they have a good chance. They did that time. That was kind of tackle in a phone booth for Tony Jones, who lost a yard. at second down and 11. Ian Book throws out in the flat, and it's Komet, and Komet dropped it, but got on top of it. So his fourth catch already here in the first the half. Komet has made a big difference in this game plan. He's big enough and strong enough to help blocking on the end of the line of scrimmage, and he's catching those short passes. You can see how comfortable Ian Book is having number 84 back in the football game. He's an NFL caliber tight end, 6'5", 250, and he's made a big difference in this game as Ian Book's 8 out of 12 for 70. And has another third down situation here. That's Fink in motion. And now we got motion as well. And it's Komet who had an early takeoff, it looked like. All starts. Offense number 69 and number 84. Five yard penalty. Third down. Right, right now, I think Notre Dame Nation and Brian Kelly is going, boy, I wish we would have had this home field advantage when we had that at our place. <laughs> exactly. Because that night, about 50% of that stadium was Georgia red. And here it's not 50%. It's almost 95% Georgia red here. Making themselves known again for the Georgia defense on third and 11. And a timeout taken by Notre Dame. Home field advantage, no doubt about it. 13-18 remaining first half. Notre Dame uses its second timeout. And now, one really famous guy and Colin Jones for Eyes on Rugby shirts. Come on, get in there. What's the worst that happens? You're dragged out on a stretcher, you get injured doing this dumb commercial, and then it ruins your actual career? Either way, it's a funny story. None of this was in the play, okay? This is... Just the script. Eyes odd. Available at Coles. <laughs> no Aaron Rodgers were harmed in the making of this commercial. Oh, are those bones? Sonic's got all my fair faves. Cheddar peppers, 99 cent corn dogs, Oreo a la mode. But there's no chicken on the fair faves menu, right? Uh, no. Why do you ask? No reason. You're safe. Hurry in. Fair faves start at 99 cents. And order ahead for happy hour anytime. The let's have one more. Two? Make that two more plans. Sweetie? Let us help with your plan. We can do that. Sounds like a plan. Start a plan that flexes with yours. New York Life. These are my people. These are the one who will reach for the star. These are my people. By the light of the earth, you can tell they are ours. A new step to take, and a new day will break. Yes, these are my people. School's in session. Young Sheldon's back. CBS Thursday. Last season's hit comedy is back. Cedric the Entertainer and Max Greenfield star in an all-new season of The Neighborhood. Miss Nancy and I watch that every Monday at 8, 7 Central on CBS. Here's what Gary was talking about speaking of the neighborhood. Georgia thought they were in their own neighborhood at Notre Dame Stadium in South Bend two years ago as they gobbled up tickets. That was the scene there in 2017 in a 20 to 19 Georgia win. And now here in 2019, that's the scene in Athens. So much for Southern hospitality. Exactly. These people down here don't sell their tickets, do they? <laughs> After the Notre Dame timeout, third down at 11. Remember, Notre Dame has been throwing short passes on third and long, and they've been successful with it. That's Tremble 
the tight end who was in motion. Ian Book throws complete. Avery Davis, and he is all wrapped up by Devon Wilson. I don't know if we have a stat yet for this in college football, but soon there should be. In the secondary, when the ball is given to the wings, all of the offenses now are trying to get their athletes the ball in space. And that means the athletes on defense better learn how to tackle and wrap up. And they don't have to knock out guys. they got to just drag them down. Tyler Simmons averaging over 19 yards of punt return coming into this game. Had a fair catch earlier from Jay Bramlett, the freshman out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. So he knows all about the SEC. That's a good kick. Simmons has to call fair catch again and dropped it. Notre Dame's on top of it. Chase Claypool comes up with a football. A huge mistake by Simmons. How about the hustle by your starting receiver, Claypool? Gets down there on special teams and is there to make the easy recovery. A gift. Calls a fair catch and then doesn't catch it. Covered the fumble at the eight-yard line. Now, how does Notre Dame take advantage of it? Can the Georgia defense hold Notre Dame to a field goal? Try the biggest first part of the football game when you've had a strategic play that the offense and defensive coordinators got to come up big with a play. That little group we talked about, happy down there in that corner. That's right where their offense sets up on the right hash of the eight. With a toss to Fink. Fink's got blockers in front. Hit at the six and goes down. Again, this goes in the books as a pass, but this is Notre Dame's run game. They, are, they really are putting this and counting this as how to run the ball against Georgia. All right, Ian Book has not rushed the ball in this game yet. This is where he can be so dangerous. Georgia hasn't allowed a red zone touchdown yet. But they just gave Notre Dame's offense a gift at the eight, and now they're just outside the Georgia five. Second down and goal. Book, the fade to the corner to Claypool. Did he catch it? Flags are down. He's out of bounds. This pass is incomplete. There's a flag on the play. DJ Daniel was the guy that was covering. Pass interference, defense number 14. Fouls in the end zone by rule. The ball be placed the two-yard line. First down. Slot receiver fade. Everybody's got this play. Everybody's got a six-foot-three receiver. Very physical. Chase Claypool, and you can see Daniel is riding him. Has his hands on him the whole way. Had to be called. Georgia short on defensive backs due to injuries. And that time, the corner with the pass interference are coming right back to Claypool, incomplete this time. Boy, you can see the respect Chip Long has for this rush defense for Georgia. First down. Not all of us that grew up watching Notre Dame football, we're saying, all right, let's see the Irish pound this thing in, right? I mean, yep. how, how different are they? Go back to the same type of a play? I just keep thinking, when's the quarterback draw coming? Yeah. Or as you're calling plays for Chip Long, do you think it? Four down territory as you call these plays. Book is under center. The toss, the roll, the throw, the wide open timeout. toss for the touchdown. Kirby called timeout prior to the play. And he saved the touchdown. Notre Dame was in an unbalanced line and he got a timeout to save a touchdown. First charge timeout. He knew his defense was fooled. On balance line, only two guys are going to run the end man on a touchdown, but Kirby sprints down there, uses his defensive back plays, gets into the end zone, a nice design play to slip into the backfield. Look at, look at, look at, he said, we don't have it right. We don't have it right. He didn't move that fast when he played here. 
Walton Goggins stars in The Unicorn. Premier CBS Thursday. The car of your dreams. The lease of a lifetime. The Aston Martin Vantage. $17.99 a month, zero down. And we make the first three payments. The model year end sales event this year at Kendall Toyota and West Kendall Toyota. Get 0% financing for 75 months, plus unlimited mile lifetime warranty for as long as you own it. Call 305 Kendall today. 305 Kendall! From the 5 a.m. wakers to the 6 a.m. sleepers, everyone uses their phone differently and in different places. That's why Xfinity Mobile created a wireless network that auto-connects you to millions of secure Wi-Fi hotspots and the best LTE everywhere else. Xfinity Mobile is a different kind of wireless network designed to save you money. Save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill. Plus, get $250 back when you buy an eligible phone. Click, call, or visit a store today. The model year-end sales event is here at Lexus of West Kendall. Take advantage of exceptional offers on the new 2019 IS300 or the luxurious 2019 NX. Your choice for only $279 per month from Lexus of West Kendall. The car of your dreams. The lease of a lifetime. The Aston Martin Vantage. $17.99 a month, zero down. And we make the first three payments. A six-year-old Florida girl arrested and even fingerprinted tonight at 11. Beautiful shot of a record crowd. Our aerial coverage is sponsored by State Farm. Over 93,000 on hand in Athens. If I was Brian Kelly, I would go to my offensive coordinator, Chip Long, and I'd tell my whole team, we're going for it. If we don't lose yardage, we're going for it on all four downs. we got a gift here. What's the big deal? If we would have caught it, he'd been at the nine. If we get it and we don't make it, they get the ball at the two. We're going for a touchdown. Ian Book in the shotgun all by himself. Davis in motion. They fake it to him. There's the quarterback run. He's close. Smith keeps, and it's not short of the goal line. Just shy of the short of the goal line. Like Monty Rice did a good job getting that hit on the edge. Book goes inside, but Monty Rice delivers the hit and does not let Ian get far enough near the goal line. So now it's third and a half yard. Watch for the quarterback sneak here. Brock Wright comes in and does the push to the quarterback when he's in the game. They do not have him in there. Third down and goal. About a foot away. The quick screen is broken up by Georgia. They tried to get it to Claypool on a little slip screen, and J.R. Reed knocked it down. And, and Notre Dame is very fortunate this was not called a lateral. This was close. Tries a quick screen. That's very close to being a backward pass. Woo! Called incomplete on the field. I don't see enough to overturn it. Here's the quarterback sneak look. We're going to get the push from behind by the tight end. That's Takis. Fourth and goal. Now they shift out of it. Book fakes the throw in trouble to the back of the end zone. Caught by Clement for the touchdown. It didn't work as it was drawn up, but it worked. I'm not even sure Komet was the intended receiver. I, I don't think so either. I agree with you. I think he was throwing it to the back of the end zone on the play. Wants to throw it wide. Nobody there. I think he's throwing it right here to the back. He was Sorry. trying to get it to Tony yes. Jones. And intercepted on the play. Cole Komet says, I'll take that. <laughs> intercepted by your own guy for a touchdown. Well... Brian Kelly was thinking like I was, go for it, go for it. But you can see the respect he has. I'm not running inside against these guys, throwing almost every down. Jonathan Doyle, the snap was low, but the kick is perfect. And with 10.39 to go in the first half, Notre Dame strikes first. We told you Cole Komet would be a big part of this game. He's got five catches, including a touchdown. Short drive, and number seven is up seven in Athens. Take the floor somewhere unexpected. 
Everything you need is at your fingertips and at the Home Depot on Trend Styles with innovations to make it pet proof, make it life proof, make it waterproof, make it beautiful. And the Home Depot has everything you need to make it yours. Today is the day for doing with exclusive life proof vinyl plank flooring starting at 319 a square foot, only at the Home Depot. I'm a tailgater tailgating to get to my tailgate. Now, it might not get me there any faster, but hey, it gets me ready for football. Let's tailgate. There's, th I can't go anywhere. But you're so busy watching me tailgate that you don't see the one in front of you. And your cut rate car insurance, they might not pay for this. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. At Zaxby's, the Zensation Salad is back. And introducing the new Zensation Filet Sandwich Meal with hand-breaded chicken, Asian slaw, wonton strips, and citrus vinaigrette. Both served with an egg roll. The Zensation Salad and Filet Sandwich Meal. Only at Zaxby's. Is this the new iPhone? Yeah. Verizon's got the new iPhone. It has three cameras. And when you get it on the best network, you get so much more. Can I keep this? Like up to $700 off iPhone 11 Pro when you switch, with Apple Music included. How could you get the new iPhone and not put it on Verizon? The new doctor will see you now. Oh, doctor. That is so nice to hear. Doctor. Patricia Heaton stars in Carol's second act. Premier CBS Thursday. 7 nothing Notre Dame on a touchdown pass from Ian Book to Cole Komet. And we have another look. Well, during the first, I tried to figure out what the play was. After they shift out of this, they give the look like the quarterback sneak in previous games. And I think what's trying to happen, I think Komet was trying to pick for Tony Jones to come around the outside. When it wasn't there, Jones goes deep. He tries to get him the ball, and Komet intercepts it. <laughs> That's all I could think of. That's what it sure looked like when we first saw it in... Indeed, that's what it was. James Cook and Brian Herrien wait on the other end of this kick. And Cook's just going to have to field it and back and take a knee and we'll bring it out to the 25 for Georgia. Let's test your knowledge with tonight's Aflac trivia question. What do we got? When was the last time Notre Dame defeated an Associated Press top 10 team on the road. We told you they've had some struggles in that area. Right now, they're leading the number three team in the country by a touchdown. So we'll let you chew on that one for a while. Remember, the fumbled punt is what led to an eight-yard drive in five plays. It's been a while since George is even behind at home. Now, let's see if their offense can get something working. So far, not really. DeAndre Swift, but only a couple. 34 total yards coming into this series. Two first downs been bottled up. They've tried to loosen up this Notre Dame defense. It's a veteran defense, veteran at safety. It's off the edge. If you look inside, Drew White, number 40, who struggled earlier against Louisville in that game, has gotten better every series he's played for Notre Dame. Looks like a legit defense now. They've got it all together. James Cook in motion. They'll try Swift again. And Swift trying to pop out the back side, and he did. And he got a first down. There's the best run so far for Georgia. Well, Roy Gilman, number 11 that time, was right there. But he tried to tackle the ball. He tries to get it and rip it, and Swift spins and keeps going forward for a positive play. Probably the first real missed tackle of the game, don't you think, for Notre yep. Dame? They've been pretty strong in yeah. the area. Jake Fromm is six out of seven, but for only 16 yards so far in the game. Eli Wolf in that tackle for Georgia. Brian Herring gets the carry up the middle. And Herring got almost five. He doesn't really get enough credit. He's kind of the unheralded guy in that Georgia backfield. Everybody's high on Zamir White, the redshirt freshman, who's a huge recruit. James Cook, who's got lightning fast speed. And then you kind of forget about number 35. He is solid. Second out of five. Harry stays in there to flank Jake Fry.
Six of a yard. Drew White, the inside linebacker, number 40. They watch him. First game, it looked like a oh, whole uh, Irish nation was going, oh, we miss Tranquil so much, and he was a great player for so long for Notre Dame. But Drew White just keeps getting better and better. Every series, you can see it on tape. Every series, he looks better than the series before when he plays. This is a more comfortable game for him, too, though. Yep. It's not the option, you know, speed stuff. More coming downhill at him. Georgia with a bunch receiver group to the left, and now that's Robertson is going to join the backfield and come back out of it. Fun. Scans the field, throws complete, caught. Eli Wolf, who we just mentioned earlier, transferred over from Tennessee, and he's already got more catches as a Bulldog than he had all of last season with the Volunteers. I think it was Jack Lamb, number 31, was bluffing the blitz, and he turns around and tries to find the crossing receiver just a half step late. See it right there? He turns a half step, and Wolf gets by him. The transfer from Tennessee gets it and picks up the first down. And that was a pinpoint pass by Fromm to get it in there to him. First down at the 47. Two tight ends set now with Charlie Warner and Wolf in there. Swift trying to get to the edge. DeAndre Swift. There's one of his patented runs. Pick up a 12 and a first down. Well, Eli Wolf caught a pass on third down. This time they ask him to block. He gets out front in space and makes the block, pushes him by. That's all you need. Good running back, just get in front of somebody, and you're going to make positive yards on the play. Well, Georgia's offense moved it to the Notre Dame 42-yard line with another first down with seven minutes remaining in the second quarter. Lawrence Cager, another transfer from Miami. He's up to the top of your screen. Simmons to the right on first down. Play action. Fromm's going to flip it out there to Charlie Warner. Dropped the ball, scooped it back up, and picked up a yard, maybe. You really have to be impressed. I mean, Fromm just, he's almost a magician with the ball, but the Notre Dame defense is on the throw. He's completing them, and they're there. They're in the picture. And, that, and that's really the key here when you're playing against elite athletes. Do not give them space when they catch the ball. This is the best tackling I've seen so far this year oh, from anybody. No doubt about it. But it seems like Georgia's kind of found their rhythm here. Enough power. They've got to kind of go in both directions now. A little bit of everything. Now they play like out in the front with a reception. Got around to the edge. He's got a first down. They really like this kid. Freshman Lyle Mary out of Georgia. How does he get it out? A little wiggle inside, then he backs up with the old bubble screen, basically. Gives it to him and gets around the corner. Dominic caught four passes for 112 yards a week ago, including a touchdown. Yeah, Jalen Elliott, number 21, has to make that play. You're not going to make them all. But when you look at the tape the next day, it's those little plays like that. Another foot outside on his angle. Could have stopped it. He misjudged it. When you get D-Rob like that, that false start. He's going to get around there. Flags, and it might be a false start this time on Georgia. At least that's false what. False start. 77 offense. The Five yard Irish penalty. Saying, and it was Cade Mays. First down. Who flinched. Those kind of penalties just kill your rhythm. You're going along pretty good, and all of a sudden, it's first down at 15. Yeah, and, and it's been a good rhythm. You know, you get an eight-play drive here. Everything is on target. No mistakes. <laughs> Once those big bodies go one direction, they're not going the other. Yeah, direction. Cage 320. Once it's going in reverse, it's staying in reverse. So back to the 29. Harry with Brown with a shotgun. The throw's going back out the play line. See if they can beat his first man. Nope. Nice job back there defensively by Crawford to make the tackle. And we got a Georgia Bulldog down on the field around the 27 yard line. Got to do it. You know, it's been preached all week. Make the tackle when you have a chance. Sean Crawford. Three surgeries, missed three different years, still playing football and makes the big tackle. And there you see Big Kinley down number 66. We'll check on Solomon McKinley, uh, Kinley rather, when we come back.
You don't have to go to another planet to be an explorer. You can be an explorer right here on Earth with the completely redesigned Ford Explorer. Redesigned for any terrain. Redesigned for any mission. Like picking up the kids or a rotisserie chicken because you just can't bring yourself to cook time. The all-new 2020 Ford Explorer. It's the greatest exploration vehicle of all time. Adam Zucker in New York coming up on the Geico Halftime Report. Houston, BJ, and I will get you caught up on today's action, including Clemson all over the 49ers. The Charlotte 49ers, 66-yard pick six by Kayvon Wallace. Tigers on an 18-game winning streak. Now back to Ness, Gary, and Jamie. Thanks, Adam. Clemson can probably play with the San Francisco 49ers. Just under five minutes to play here as we saw Solomon Kinley, and they're helping him to the sideline as we took a look, and he got rolled up on by Kurt Heinisch, I think, is the guy that got him, Gary. Yeah, and I think 57, Adamiola, also from the other side, kind of braces him one way, and there's no give on the play and mm. gets bent backwards. Second and 12. Not to mention, mention big Andrew Thomas falling on the back of him as well as the left know. tackle. So now their offensive line that's their strong suit banged up because of Isaiah Wilson also hurts. Yes. Swift. Maybe to the 23. So now they got that third and long. They're going to get that nickel package by, or dime package actually, from Notre Dame. They've been keeping their safeties back. If you're Kirby, do you think two downs for a first down, or do you think a field goal? They have not gone deep so far in this game, but Notre Dame's alignment has not allowed it. I look for a dig route, something across the middle. Charlie Warner, the tight end, is in a slot on the right. That's Demetrius Robertson who's in motion. Third down and nine. Fromm looking left the whole way. Back shoulder throw. Got it complete. And it's Lawrence Cager. First down. Went, went man to man to the outside. Their best cover guy is Tony Pride, number five. Cager to the outside. Got your best guy on him. They make a better throw than you could have. Nothing you could do. When you're playing bump and run to the outside, you're trying to clog everybody else. That throws better than your defense. From now 11 for 12 in the football game. How about that? And he's got it inside the Notre Dame 10 at the 9-yard line. First and goal. From keeps it himself. Inside the five, he fumbled the ball into the end zone, but I think he was blown dead at the three. He doesn't run a lot. Well, I'll tell you, when Alohi Gilman comes from the secondary, he brings a load with him. One of the things, he lays it on Fromm's right shoulder, too, on the hit. Definitely down. His left elbow is down. But when you're a running quarterback, you get hit in that right arm. That's always scary. Late stages of the second quarter. Here's how they've mixed it up this drive. Yeah, I've been in control. One penalty, legal procedure penalty, was the only negative play. DeAndre Swift to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. something for the record crowd to cheer. That's what Kirby says. Finally, we've settled down and played our football, keeping everybody off balance. I'll tell you, Andre Thomas, number 71, the All-American left tackle for Georgia. What a play. We could get another look at the big guy. I, not from this angle, you won't be able to see it. Let's see for sure if he gets into the end zone. I think when his knee touches, the ball's across the line. I do, too. like it broke the plane before the knee hit the turf. Yeah, remember, the line is the end zone. If it goes down, the, the front of the line is as good as the back of the line. 
Watch Big Andrew Thomas right here playing elite. I mean, 350 pounds, 6'7", moves like a cat, gets in, gets in the linebacker, puts him in. No way the middle linebacker can make that play. Let's check in with Gene Steratore, our rules official. Gene? I've got a touchdown on the play, guys. When that right knee makes contact, the ball has broken the plane of the goal line. The field is confirmed. Touchdown. Confirmed it is. Touchdown, Georgia. DeAndre Swift's third rushing touchdown of this early season. And in that drive, Georgia showed why everybody believes that they're elite. They can do it with power, finesse, the deep ball, the back shoulder. They got a quarterback that's elite. They got all of the pieces. Rodrigo Blankenship's 174th straight extra point is good. 227 remaining in the half. An 80, make it a 75-yard drive in 13 plays. DeAndre Swift, James Dolan says that's how we drew it up. 7-7. Take the floor somewhere unexpected. Everything you need is at your fingertips and at the Home Depot on Trend Styles with innovations to make it pet-proof. Make it life-proof. Make it waterproof. Make it beautiful. And the Home Depot has everything you need to make it yours. Today is the day for doing with exclusive life-proof vinyl plank flooring starting at 319 a square foot. Only at the Home Depot. I joined Papa John's to bring people together. It's a great day, baby. And sharing pizza is a good start. What's up, fellas? It's lunchtime. This is my guy right here. Big guys got to stick together. You guys hungry? Would you like a pizza? What's happening? Is that your girlfriend? Oh yes, it is. Oh, left-handed. That's good. He's hot. Better ingredients, better pizza, better day. He's totally team first. More like me first. We'll all go to the White House. Tired of all the nonsense? Stream CBS Sports HQ. You're free, always on Sports News Network. Thursday on CBS, a new comedy about love, life, and friendship. Don't miss The Unicorn premieres Thursday after Young Sheldon on CBS. Remember in the Clemson game in the playoffs, Notre Dame was into the game until 1.50 to go in the second quarter. It was a seven-point game. Right now, Notre Dame needs to be careful. They only have one timeout left. Georgia gets the ball to start the second half. You do not want to give Georgia the ball again in this half. So they'll bring it out to the 25 for the Fighting Irish, and that will give us a chance right here to answer our Aflac trivia question. The last time Notre Dame defeated a top 10 team on the road seven years ago at Oklahoma. A big win in Norman over Bob Stoops' crew. And here they've given number three Georgia all they can handle and then some. Tie game, 227 left in a half. They got to get out of the half, and they have to look like they're attacking because Kirby, if they don't gain yards, will use his timeouts. Has two remaining. Ian Brooke throws across the middle, in and out of the hands of Fink. It might be almost intercepted, and it's still loose. I'm not sure the ball ever touched the ground. No, so far. Tay Crowder supplied the hit, and then it seemed like the ball was still above the surface. Let's see. Rolling on the field. It's a catch. Absolutely Second down. Catch. Wow. What a catch. Off the back shoulder as he gets hit. Might be the play of the game so far for a receiver, at least. What a play. Book, deep middle, got his man, and it's connect the tight end again, all the way down to the 45-yard line. Well, Irish fans are going, when we have a tight end, we are a threat. Goes right down the middle, and Book makes a perfect throw. Can't throw it any better than that. He actually backpedaled his way to the 42, a 28-yard pickup. Book, pressure from the corner, throws to Met again. And he's got another one. He's caught seven passes already. Yeah, this is the part of the game, talking about the 217 game that Notre Dame didn't feature in that game. They did not have the passing attack that they have tonight. Ian Book talked about being elite. 
His offensive coordinator said, go prove you're elite. So far, he's shown he can match anybody. Second and eight, set to throw again and going deep. And it's caught inside the 15, and it's Lawrence Keyes. Great drive being executed by Ian. Look at his receivers right now. Well, Georgia got a one-on-one -on -one back shoulder throw. Here's a 50-50 ball to the outside. Throw it up. Go get it. You know, we should stop calling him 50-50 because it's probably about 75-25 advantage of the receiver on those balls. Two 28-yard pass plays in this drive to the Georgia 12. And now they'll one. back it up. That's the third mistake by your veteran left tackle, Eichenberg. Fourth false start penalty, if that's what we're going to get here. By the way, our officiating crews from the ACC tonight, Jeff Flanagan, our referee. False start on the offense. This play qualifies for a 10-second runoff. The only way Notre Dame could get the 10 seconds back is to burn a timeout, and they do not want to do that. Could have been Matt, could have been Eichenberg. Both guys on that left side look like they got a head start. I wouldn't blame Komet the way he's catching the ball. Hey, yeah, I want to get, get out there get too. Out of <laughs> Tell you, uh, Ian Book, the more you watch him, his feet are so nimble. Reminds me of an old Irish quarterback who played a long time ago, threw just like him with those quick feet. That would be. Joe Theismann. Remember how he played? Had <laughs> the same style. Great athlete in the pocket. Able to move his feet and throw. A little bit of a run attack and pass attack at the same time. With the runoff, there's 40 seconds left unless something changes here. Notre Dame has to be ready to snap the ball when it's put in play. They don't want to waste any more time. For 10-second runoff. Notre Dame will not call a timeout, so the 10-second runoff will apply. Second down. First down. Correction. First down. All right. Well, that's exactly what Gary said a minute ago. First and 15 from the 17. So first down at 15 at the 17. Winding the clock. There it goes. There goes Komet in motion. Book looks right, goes to a screen. He's got blockers out in front for Fink. And Fink's down inside the 10. Do you get up and snap the ball? Do you call timeout? Make up your mind, Notre Dame. 18, 17, Looks clock like they're going to go up the line of scrimmage. Down to 13. Now they're calling timeout. Wow. wow. They left wow. some seconds wow. out there, didn't they? They didn't want to waste the down, but they wasted so much time they almost gave up a down. Now you got to throw to the end zone. They put one second back on, so it's 13 with second down and seven. I think seven. it'd be a real gamble now, Brad, unless you get a first down to throw the ball inside the field, whether you could get another play off. Big 13 seconds coming up when we return. All right, Brad, once again, I have revolutionized the songwriting process. Oh, here we go. I know I can't play an instrument, but this, this is my forte. Obviously, for auto insurance, we've got the wheel route. Obviously. Retirement, we're going with a long-term play. Makes sense. Pet insurance. Wait, let me guess. Flea flicker. Yes. How'd you know? I'm studying my playbook. Yeah, actually. Guys, it's back! Inline skating? No, the Zensation is back at Zaxby's. You heard right. The Zensation salad is back. And introducing the new Zensation filet sandwich meal, both served with an egg roll. For a limited time, only at Zaxby's. Is this the new iPhone? Yeah. Verizon's got the new iPhone. It has three cameras. And when you get it on the best network, you get so much more. Can I keep this? Like up to $700 off iPhone 11 Pro when you switch, with Apple Music included. How could you get the new iPhone and not put it on Verizon? Second down at seven at the nine with 13 seconds left for Notre Dame. Ian Book throws out of the end zone. It'll be third down. And you got to just send the field goal unit in right now. 
Over it coming up in a few seconds. Adam Zucker, Brian Jones, Houston Nutt. First half analysis scores and highlights from around the country. The Geico halftime report. Zucker and the guys will be along shortly. That was a winning drive for Notre Dame right there. Good decision by Ian Book. Either at a touchdown or a field goal. Nothing in between. Jonathan Doerr has only kicked one field goal this year, and he made it from 36 yards. This will be a 27-yard attempt. Kirby's going to burn a timeout. And there it is. So let Doerr, the junior out of Charlotte, North Carolina, think about it a little bit. So getting out of the half, something that Notre Dame couldn't do against Clemson in that semifinal playoff game, you know, they did not get pushed to room around that whole football game against Clemson until it got ugly at the end of the half, right. then, and then it was all doors off. Well, you said a couple of minutes ago, you said they got to get out of the half without any more damage. Yep. Here they're going to supply drive. some damage Absolutely, here. winning drive. Remember, Georgia gets the ball to start the second half. Ian Book has had all the pressure is on the Notre Dame quarterback. He has come through in this game. They don't have a real reliable running game it has to be almost a running game with the short pass if you gave brian kelly the opportunity to say i'll have a field goal lead at halftime he would have taken that all day long and he's got that opportunity coming up if his kicker is true They bring in the offense. I think they're going to throw one more fade pass to the end zone. I was going to say, it is yes. third down, I not they fourth. Are. I think they're going to throw one more fade pass to the end zone. Claypool is to the top. By Kirby taking the timeout, it, it allowed. Claypool's up here. Do have double coverage help by the safety. Let's see what happens. And Georgia took the timeout. Yeah, another one. So the chess match between Kirby Smart and Brian Kelly going on here. Well, the, the chess match was a field goal at first. Then they brought the offense and back. They said, well, why not throw a fade? And then he takes another timeout. What else could they do? Well, there isn't if, much else to do. If they had tried a field goal on third down, they've always had the opportunity, if it's a fumbled snap or something, that they'd have another opportunity. Well, they didn't have a timeout. No, they didn't have a timeout, they so they timeout. couldn't do that either. You could... I mean, if you were really gutsy, you could run a fake field goal pass. You know, some teams play their quarterback as the holder. The only risk you run here is if you take a sack, it's history. I know that, but Jay Bramlett, the holder on the play, was a high school quarterback. Could have a fake from the field goal in by, a, by an extra play. Well, Doris still standing on the sideline, yeah, so here comes in. the offense. Look still in. They're going to throw one up. Different look this time as well. We got three wideouts. McGinley. Give, give uh, offensive coordinator Chip Long credit. He's changed up the look after the timeout. McKinley is down to the bottom of your screen. Fink and Claypool up to the right. They're going to fade it for McKinley, and it's incomplete. But there's still five seconds on the clock. Now they'll bring out the field goal unit. Well, that was a lot of talking for a field goal, wasn't it? Sure was. <laughs> we kind of wore ourselves exactly. out there. Exactly, I'm worn out. <laughs> well, we have uh, three timeouts, two different formations. And now it'll still be a 27-yard field goal attempt, which is what we started with a few minutes ago. Jonathan Doerr to try to give the Irish the lead at halftime. And he does. Notre Dame comes into Athens, Georgia. A big underdog. They go to the locker room with a three-point lead over the number three team in the country. How about this? Well, they had to have their quarterback play ball, and he's played ball, and they have tackled. I said they have to tackle in space. Done that, too. Jamie's with the coach who's up at the break. Coach, you hit the ground running in this hostile environment. You overcame some miscues early, but what started to click offensively for you there? Well, the game's playing well, seeing the field, obviously getting Cole Komet back, you know, allows us to do some more things in the passing game. Um, and again, you know, I think just being more diversified offensively allows us to spread the ball around a little bit. Um, yeah, we're obviously going to do a very good job getting our football team ready for a silent cadence. So um, that's on us. But we'll settle down in the second half. We'll be better at it. Coach, thank you. Thank you. 
I think everything else is working pretty well, including Komet, who's got seven catches for 69 yards and a touchdown. End of the half. Seventh-ranked Notre Dame leaps third-ranked Georgia 10-7. As we go to Adam Zucker and the guys in our New York studio. Zuck. All right, Ness, what a game so far. And coming up here on the Geico Halftime Report, Houston, BJ, and I get you caught up on a huge day for quarterbacks around college football and a running back after this word from your local station. Young Sheldon's back at its new time, 8, 7 Central, CBS 30. The model year end sales event this year at Kendall Toyota and West Kendall Toyota. Get 0% financing for 75 months, plus unlimited mile lifetime warranty for as long as you own it. Call 305 Kendall today. 305 Kendall! Oh, I'm glad you found it. Oh, we were just happy to get some time away. You're the first couple to try our new bed and breakfast bundle. It's bed and breakfast in the same room. You wake up to the smell of coffee and bacon, made by a private chef, right there. So we're sleeping in the kitchen. Well, I'm sure you'll write it better than that for the review. Stuck in a bad bundle? Get a great one. Bundle AT&T Fiber and Direct TV and get a $100 reward card. Limited availability may not be in your area. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-877-ONLY-ATT. This is the Chevy Silverado with the world's first invisible trailer. Invisible trailer? Hop in. Silverado offers an optional technology package with up to 15 different views, including one enhanced view that makes your trailer appear invisible. Wow. That's pretty That's sweet. Cool. Where's the trailer though? <laughs> Or get a total value of over $97.60 on this Silverado All-Star without optional tech package or enhanced invisible view. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. percent APR for 48 months on a new 2020 Toyota Corolla. Toyota, let's go places. The model year-end sales event is here at Lexus of West Kendall. Take advantage of exceptional offers on the new 2019 IS300 or the luxurious 2019 NX. Your choice for only $279 per month from Lexus of West Kendall. The sticker that gives some Florida deputies permission to pull you over at 11. CBS Sports presents the GEICO Halftime Report. GEICO, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Well, we got a game. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the GEICO Halftime Report. Adam Zucker alongside Houston Nutt and Brian Jones. The score in Athens, Notre Dame on top of that field goal at the end there, 10 to 7 on Georgia. Might be up more, Coach, if not for some of those miscues. Abs so. Absolutely. You heard Coach Kelly talk right there for the half. Four, you know, miss, miss starts, uh, false little illegal procedures. You hear right here, all those. All of those things. But I tell you what, right here on the punt, though, a fumble punt. Doesn't look it in. Well, this is a quick, quick six. You've got to be able to take care of the ball. This is a quick six for Notre Dame. Yeah, Georgia miscues there, too. Exactly, but you know what I love about this fight now is defense. They came in giving up about 230 on the ground, right the 120th in rush defense. But the way they're flying to the ball, Clark Lee, the defensive coordinator, his charges, they're taking the perfect pursuit angles. They're rallying to the football. Little bubble screen here to the wide receiver. Look how many fighting Irish players you see around the football. They have to continue to do that to corral these playmakers for Georgia. Indeed, no big plays for the Dogs and Cole Komet in his season debut looks like the second coming of Mark Bavaro right now uh, for the Irish. Let's get you caught up on the rest of the day on the scoreboard and starting with game one of our doubleheader as Auburn looked to remain undefeated. Some great defense and trick plays. Yes, today. unbalanced line here and John Samuel Shanker, he gets the pass in the end zone for Auburn and then to seal the deal, Booby, to target mm. Booby Whitlow, eight-yard run there and the Aggies, their rush defense gave up 193 on the day. Yeah, Auburn up 21 to 3 at one point in this game. Bo Nix, his first true road game, it did not look like it. Meanwhile, Alabama, Houston, Tua Tonga Valoa doing it again. Five more touchdown passes. Tua Tonga Valoa, five touchdown passes, and he throws to a variety of receivers, guys. <laughs> Henry Ruggs, the third, Waddle, Devontae Smith, all these guys create separation. Excellent throw by Tua. Indeed. Ruggs with a couple. 
Jerry Judy with a couple as well as Alabama cruises 49 to 7. We'll see him next week here on CBS against Ole Miss. But if Alabama's quarterback can throw five touchdowns, mm -hmm. what's LSU's quarterback going to do? How about six? That's right, six. This is that new tangled LSU offense. 398 passing for Joe Burrow, coach, and a school record six touchdown passes. Jamar Chase had four of those bad boys. Four touchdown receptions. He had 229 yards receiving in that one as LSU moves to 4-0 and there. All right, Kyle Trask, the hero last week off the bench replacing the injured Felipe Franks, making his first start since his freshman year of high school coach against Tennessee. Excellent job right here. Play action, well protected, perfect throw on the post, perfect trajectory. Excellent job. Tennessee only scores three points. Yeah, mm. a couple picks there for Trask, a couple picks for Garantano, including one that was a touchdown. His own guy killed him on it, and uh, they got to face Georgia in their next game. Now, BJ, drama. Show us why Ole Miss is upset. Third down, Ole Miss backup quarterback John Reese Plumley hits Elijah Moore to the touchdown. Moore thinks it is. The rest is no. You're sharp of the end zone. Time is running out. Fourth down. John, Justin Wilcox, head coach, and Cal Hey, keep that clock running. <laughs> Zoom out. Plumley, he stopped short on mm. the goal line. Fourth down, and they did review this play, the third down play, because they snapped the ball there on fourth down. That rendered a replay. Newt, newt, mm. newt. Well, Ole Miss had a, a tweet earlier uh, expressing their disbelief, and uh, we're awaiting a statement by the Pac-12, maybe by the end of the day tomorrow, for an official response. Still but, a uh, day out there, right? Tough one for the Rebels. They still wouldn't have needed a two-point conversion, of course, just to tie it up. Missouri giving South Carolina their third loss of the year. Ron L. Perkins with a 100-yard interception return for a touchdown. And how about uh, Arkansas losing at home right now to San Jose Run, State? Wrong. And Garrett Schrader from Miss State, the freshman who did the helicopter against Kansas State. Big game, 180 passing, 125 rushing in a win over Kentucky. And again, a reminder, the Home Depot SEC on CBS continues next Saturday when Ole Miss visits number two Alabama. It all gets started at 3 Eastern with State Farm College Football today. And we'll get you caught up on what's been a big day around college football when the Geico Halftime Report continues. The Home Depot SEC on CBS is sponsored by Taco Bell. Ford Explorer. Amazon Prime and by Wheels Up. What are you listening to? Alexa, skip track. Wait. Alexa, play that song that goes, I hate you so much right now. I'm gonna miss you so much? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Alexa, call Kelly. You missing me already? <laughs> Maybe. I knew it. I knew it. Our last slide there about co-signing agreements. I know we haven't actually made a co uh, That's lunch. The Relief by Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Is that... Casey Diaz? Gordon Ramsay handing out samples Seems like just an okay use of your culinary talents, dude. Yeah, it is smart guy. Almost like having a brand new iPhone, but not pairing it with AT&T. That's true, Gordon Ramsay. Hey, fingers! It's not a buffet. Use the cocktail stick. Use the cocktail Sorry, stick. Chef. Get the most from your amazing new iPhone 11 Pro on AT&T, America's fastest network for iPhones. More for your thing. That's our thing. Introducing a razor that works differently. The Gillette Skin Guard, designed with a guard between the blades that helps protect skin. It guards against razor burn on the neck and irritation on the face. Get the shave you've been waiting for. Gillette Skin Guard. Hi, my name's Robert. Oh, <laughs> this is my house. I live here. I'm here to talk to you about home security. Simply safe home security. As a full-time burglar and part-time con man, I know home security better than most. And as one of the people responsible for protecting my home and my family, I only trust Simply Safe. It has everything you need to blanket your home with protection. And Simply Safe is just $15 a month with no contract. A total steal. So take it from an expert. Get Simply Safe and protect home like a pro. Cut 
to the chase by Jersey Mike's. Thank you, Jake. Have a great day. Thank you. Be a sub above. Lights are on at Georgia. Welcome back to the Geico Halftime Report. A reminder over on CBS Sports Network right now, it's Baylor and Rice, followed by Utah State and San Diego State as we go back to the scoreboard. Uh, Clemson all over Charlotte right now, 45-3, to with a trip to North Carolina coming, although the Heels lost to App State. Uh, the game creating disproportionate volume in our studio <laughs> as uh, BJ's alma mater on top of Houston's right now, 21-20. to uh, How about this, though, Coach? Pitt going to the trick play after UCF had scored 31 straight. They're down six. It's fourth and three. What do they do? Direct snap to A.J. Davis, who's going to pitch to Aaron Matthews, who throws to quarterback Kenny Pickett for the touchdown. It's the uh, Philly special, but they call it the Pitt special, and UCF's 25-game regular season winning streak comes to an end. Meantime, Virginia feeling the love, except Old Dominion got off to a fast start, PJ. Yes, they did. Stone smart hits Matt Geiger in the flat. That was smart. Now watch the shoddy tackle. What are you doing? What's that? One missed tackle. There's two. That's Ooh. a nice block X right there. 47 yards to the house for Geiger. And right now a 17 to 14 lead for Old Dominion as uh, they are in the fourth quarter. Uh, some other crazy results from the day. Uh, SMU is 4-0 for the first time since 84. Wisconsin ran all over Michigan, who turned it over four times they've lost 15 straight on the road against top 15 teams and justin fields had six touchdowns in one quarter in the ohio state blowout a reminder the nfl on cbs kicks off tomorrow with a doubleheader. most will see the ravens and chiefs followed by the saints and seahawks it all gets started at noon eastern with the nfl today including the latest on antonio brown we thank you for watching the geico halftime report coming up the second half of notre dame and georgia CBS Sports presents the GEICO Halftime Report. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I can't believe it. Has Sophie opened up a wormhole through time? What the what? And the panel! No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with GEICO. Believe it. GEICO could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. Available only on the next generation GMC Sierra. Step up to the ultimate tailgate and get over 10,000 total value on this next generation Sierra Crew Cab SLT. Or get 18% below MSRP on these Sierra SLE Crew Cab and Double Cab models with a traditional tailgate. Tailgate like a pro. GMC. Sonic's got all my fair faves. Cheddar peppers, 99 cent corn dogs, Oreo a la mode. I love the fair. All the prizes you can win. Totally. Did you win all those? <laughs> Winnings for suckers. <laughs> I bought these. Hurry in. Fair faves start at 99 cents. And order ahead for happy hour anytime. Home. It's so much more than a house. It's your own freshly cut fairway. For over 30 years, Rocket Mortgage has helped millions of Americans finance the home of their dreams. Nope, nope. So you can focus on making your house home. Rocket Mortgage. Push button, get mortgage. Make the big leap, even if you have doubts. Take small steps, especially if they're easy. Wash your beard daily to reduce gray gradually. And be open to new firsts like Control GX, the first and only gray-reducing beard wash. Be the better man you are and look the part. All money managers might seem the same, but some give their clients cookie-cutter portfolios. Fisher Investments tailors portfolios to your goals and needs. Some only call when they have something to sell. Fisher calls regularly, so you stay informed. And while some advisors are happy to earn commissions whether you do well or not, Fisher Investments fees are structured so we do better when you do better. Maybe that's why most of our clients come from other money managers. Fisher Investments, clearly better money management. As one race has been won, the signal sounds to start the next. 
Our opening day is open to all. And with new names come new connections. So get out early and don't look back. Because this pursuit never sleeps. PGA Tour. Live under par. I need to make a difference. We can all do way more than we think we can. All Rise. Premier CBS Monday. Notre Dame's got a field goal lead on the third-ranked Georgia Bulldogs here at halftime. Each week, we'll be celebrating college football's 150th anniversary with a taste of tradition presented by Sonic. Here's Jamie. Brad, as we've mentioned, this is only the third meeting between these two historic programs. The first took place in the 1981 Sugar Bowl, where Georgia's freshman phenom, Herschel Walker, rushed for 150 yards and leading the dogs to victory, an undefeated season, and a national title. But the historical connection between these two schools actually dates all the way back to 1921. That season, legendary Notre Dame coach Newt Rockney coached the Irish to a 10-1 record. The starting center on that team was Harry Meir. Seven seasons later, that same Harry Meir would become head coach of the Georgia Bulldogs. And now they've got the Bucks Mayor building over here with the football offices. In Athens, halftime festivities going on. The Irish on the road leading the Dogs 10-7. There's a new food obsession sweeping the nation, and there's only one place to get it. A toasted cheddar chalupa? Incredible. Pretty much any Taco Bell. Toasted cheddar baked on the shell of a chalupa. The new toasted cheddar chalupa, only at Taco Bell. Take the floor somewhere unexpected. Everything you need is at your fingertips and at the Home Depot on Trend Styles with innovations to make it pet-proof. Make it life-proof. Make it waterproof. Make it beautiful. And the Home Depot has everything you need to make it yours. Today is the day for doing with exclusive life-proof vinyl plank flooring starting at 319 a square foot. Only at the Home Depot. One really famous guy and Colin Jost prize on rugby shirts. The number you gave me last time uh, it didn't seem to go through. I don't think the area code could be 911 because then you just end up reporting the crime. Eyes on. Available at Coles. It all feels like gold, go to me. Might not be a damn dance, but it shines for me. It all feels like gold, go to me. It ain't last in silence, it's all good to me. The all-new Versa, the most tech-advanced car in its class. This is Nissan Intelligent Mobility. This one looks empty. What do you think? Dude, stop. What? I got a ring. What are we supposed to do? Well, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd start running. That's, that's my next Now, step. gentlemen, okay. hustle! Go, go, go. Does your doorbell do that? Ours does. Get tough on crime with the Ring Video Doorbell. Keep your home and your neighborhood safe. Available at ring.com. We can't tell you how to celebrate, but we can give you a winning smile for 60% less than braces. Go from this to this. Or this to this. Join over half a million satisfied grinners. No braces, no office visits, no paying a fortune. Get started today at smiledirectclub.com. This huddle never breaks. In the SEC, we fight like cats and dogs, because that's what families do. But after the whistle, born rivals become sworn allies. The hype and the hope bind us, even as they find us. Banging that drum, chomping that chomp, dropping that anchor, until we bring it in to the hut that never breaks. Well, the light show continues at Sanford Stadium, but the hometown Georgia Bulldogs not exactly lighting up the scoreboard. They trail as we get set for the third quarter. They will have the football first, but Notre Dame with a lead of 10-7.
underway. This one will be returned. James Cook. Trying to play outside. He's not going to get to the 20 yard line. Only got out to about the 15 as we welcome you back to Athens. Brad Nestler, Gary Danielson. Notre Dame comes in big underdog. Here they are with the lead. And uh, you surprised? Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I'm surprised, but I bet Notre Dame fan is even more surprised. They watched the first couple games. I think a few factors, uh, uh, you know, but tackling. Have you seen yeah. tackling? Like, no. I mean, they really You've have been preaching them. that to me since, oh. like, Wednesday. <laughs> I know. I thought it was the key. And I think Brian Kelly saying Colt Komet has made a big difference in their offense. Gives them much more diversity. Jake Fromm. Is 11 out of 12, but for only 59 yards passing. And Georgia only had three possessions in that first half. Trying to get DeAndre Swift going, and he only got about two yards as we check in with Jamie. Well, I'll tell you the last thing I asked Kirby Smart. Coach, if you keep playing the way you're playing, do you win this game? He said, we don't. We have to continue to control those emotions and play downhill the way Notre Dame has been playing downhill against them defensively. Unfortunate news, though, for Georgia. It does seem like Solomon Kinley will be out of the rest of this game with that left lower left in injury. And that has depleted what was the strong suit for Georgia, their offensive line. So two would-be starters not in there due to injury. Isaiah Wilson and now Solomon Kinley. Second down and eight. The motion man is Demetrius Robertson. Fromm throws in the middle complete to Cager, and that's good for a first down. See, this is where you really see the smarts from Jake Fromm. He wants to go left with his ball. His eyes go left from the start, then he goes to the middle, then back to the right side and completes the pass. That's when your quarterback's in charge and protection gives him a chance to do it. There's Aga 10. That's Q. He is a fourth-year redshirt junior out of Savannah. What's <laughs> he majoring in there? I don't, I don't know. It's undecided. Yeah, undecided so far. First down. Swift, broken tackle, trying to break another, and did. Got out across the 35 to the 36-yard line. The first half game trends, as we said, Jake, almost perfect, but no big completions at all. Ian Book was sensational. Seven completions to his tight end, Cole Komet. And Georgia, first time they've trailed at the half at home in three years. This is their opening drive of the third quarter. If you're just joining us, trailing by a field goal. Brian Harrion now in the Georgia backfield. He'll get the call, trying to get to the edge. Got there, got the first down. Good run by Brian Harrion. This time got out, got outside Khalid Kareem, number 53, and man the line of scrimmage. You got around him, that created the space. Kareem couldn't get there, and Harrion gets to the edge. Kind of the downhill, exactly what Kirby was told Jamie. We want to get that ball downhill into the secondary a bit. Georgia stays right up at the line, not really a hurry up, but they stay there as Brown directs traffic with a first down at the 46. James Cook in motion to the top. Here comes an end around. Great defense. Landers is swarmed under by the Notre Dame defense. So Wusru Koromoa was the first guy there. And you got to play outside the play. Stay outside the play. Force him inside and then make the tackle. He knew he could push it inside. Warner could not get the block at him. Played it exactly the way you go watch practice. They're begging him to play. And a big loss, making it second down and 16. James Cook flanking Jake Fromm in the shotgun. I'd like to get him in space. He's got great speed. From deep middle. Did he catch it? Dominic Blaylock, did he take it off the turf? No. no. So it was a little underthrown, I think. So when you play the rover spot for Notre Dame as you look at this ball, yeah, it bounced. It bounced. Owusu right there, Koromo, is playing in coverage. Last time he's playing defensive end, whatever way it flanks, sometimes he's got the slot, sometimes he's got the edge. That's how versatile he has to be. Notre Dame seems like they got all kinds of guys that were safeties. Now they're linebackers. Corners have become safeties. We might have spoke too soon here. We're going to take a look at this. I still think it touched the ground, but. I thought it did. 
Where's the luck is a big play. Todd DeJoseph is a replay official. The back judge kind of right in the way, but it's on the ground there, I think. I thought it moved after it hit the ground, no doubt. Good try. Ball was a little low. Could have been completed. He had a great matchup on the play. Uso Koromo is on coverage. Cutting off the field is confirmed. It's an incomplete pass. Let's bring in Gene Steratorp. I think a great job by the back judge who did get in our way on the screen, but I think that's because he's in great position. <laughs> that's right. And the umpire also spun. Both officials came in and together ruled incomplete. Neither hand underneath of the football, so the ground is part of helping them with that process of the catch and a really good job of incomplete, guys. I was actually going to say he was in great position, even though he was in her camera view. How, how hard it must be on Gene with the great game going on to watch the officials. <laughs> he doesn't have to be on there. You have there. to concentrate to watch the officials. <laughs> Third down and 16. George is really going to have to earn this one if they pick up. The first down. And it's an inside handoff, DeAndre Swift. Swift broke one tackle with a lazy leg. Got now, now, the the now it's decision time. Yeah, he's about two yards shy of the first down. Past the 50-yard line. I think that may be the first decision Kirby's going to make. Should he go for it here? Get it in the secondary. No real chance. Runs through a couple tackles to make it a decision. Here comes a punting unit. That takes DeAndre Swift over the 2,000-yard mark career-wise and averaging over seven yards a carry, which is remarkable. And he's in some great company in both those categories. Camarga to kick. Chris Fink stands back inside his own 10 on the other end. And Fink just gets out of the way of this one. Can Georgia down it? Not quite. James Cook was down there. He just couldn't get to the ball. So a touchback. 10-49 remaining in the third quarter. Third-ranked Georgia and their head coach, Kirby Smart, still finding themselves down by three. first six-function multi-pro tailgate available only on the next generation GMC Sierra. Step up to the ultimate tailgate and get over 10,000 total value on this next generation Sierra Crew Cab SLT or get 18% below MSRP on these Sierra SLE Crew Cab and Double Cab models with a traditional tailgate. Tailgate like a pro. GMC. At Domino's, a delivery gone wrong doesn't just hurt your pizza night. It hurts our pride. We're going to be expediting this order. It could be a missing dipping sauce. It could be a wrong topping. It arrives cold. With Domino's new delivery insurance, if your delivery isn't what you expected, make a claim and we'll make it right. I noticed you had an issue with your last delivery. To make up for it, I brought you a medium pizza. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh Get two medium, two topping pizzas delivered for $5.99 each. And put our delivery insurance to the test. The need more space. Is your mom in there? Since Nana's moved in plan. Nope. Let us help with your plan. Yeah, we can do that. Well, that sounds like a plan. Start a plan that flexes with yours. New York Life. <sighs> Whoa, that's crisp. Brewed to be crisp. Bud Light. It's all good in the neighborhood. Paint that wall, baby. You missed some spots on the bottom. Drop that thing, dog. <laughs> Season premieres CBS Monday, 8, 7 Central. And now, do Project Smarter, presented by Home Depot. The Home Depot, and it's smart to get your tight end back from a it collarbone injury. It was last week, uh, Ian Book threw for 360 yards, but they were different plays than this. Now he's got a tight end. He makes a great interception here on a pass for a touchdown from his own quarterback. But Komet has been the safety blanket for Ian Book. That's the best throw of the day, I think, by Ian down the gut. And Komet has given him, as Brian told Jamie, I think more flexibility in the offense for everybody else. There's his numbers. Six for a seven for 68 and a touchdown. I know the Irish fans are saying keep it wide open. I don't know if they have anything else but to keep it open against this Georgia defense. 
Book on the give to Kelly Jones. Jones fighting for close to four. This is not a traditional rush offense for the Irish this year. Everybody knew that if this team was going to make a run at the championship or the playoffs again, it would be based on a pass offense helping their defense, their veteran defense. And that's why all the pressure's on Ian Book. He has to continue to make all the right decisions on every play. Second and six. Book pressure from behind. He got rid of it over the middle. Incomplete in and out of the hands of Jones. Inaccurate. He had a, pot a potential to make a first down. Tony Jones is a very good receiving back out of the backfield, but you got to give him a chance on those short plays. Those receivers do not have enough time to react to the throw. This one, he thought that Jones was going to continue and cross the linebacker, and he pulled up. Aziz Ojolari and Malik Herring at least got a little pressure on Book that time. That's about the first time that he's felt a little heat from behind. Third down and six. The throw in and out of the hands of Fink and intercepted by Georgia. Devon Wilson's got it. He drops it. He's got it again, and it's out of bounds. I think it's Georgia ball. That thing was like a bar of soap in the shower. Let's see who's got it. Well, I think Georgia's going to end up with it. We're so close to it. Again, an inaccurate throw over the middle to Fink. He had him for a first down, but the ball's behind. Now you got to make that catch. It's a tough catch, but it's one you expect your senior captain to make. It would have been a good catch, and then it ends up being an interception to, to Wilson on the play. Devon had to find the handle on it about four times, and it finally goes out of bounds, and Georgia's got it yeah. at the Notre Dame 22-yard line. And Tony Jones rips it out again on the play. Play fake by Fromm. Going to throw it back to Swift in the flat. Going to Swift with the tackle. Out of bounds. Inside the 15. Georgia trying to take advantage of an Irish turnover. Was right out by the law. A penalty marker at the end of the play around the 12-yard line. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 54, offense. 15-yard penalty, second down. I think there was a block late on Kyle Hamilton, number 14, was the call. Justin Schaefer. The backup guard who's in there because Kinley's out with the injuries, the guilty party. For a second, I thought they were going to call it on Troy Pride, but you could see it. I think it was the number 14 from behind. There's the hit. And it had to be called. Come in the game, you want to do something, you want to get in the action, you're in for Kinley, and you end up making a big mistake. So now it's second at 17, back at the 29. Catches it, goes to a knee at around the 23. Ian Book talking to Chip Long. That's the first interception of the season. Yeah, he had two inaccurate passes in a row. Now, whether they were miscommunication on the first one, but the second one was behind Fink and it cost him. Prom's going, let's hurry up, guys. Yeah, I remember. Right now you're sitting there as a defensive coordinator says, should I pressure this guy? Fromm is so good throwing off his back foot. I don't think so. He's got to hustle to get the playoff. <laughs> Two on the clock. Just in the nick of time. And here comes a full blitz. Fromm throwing to the end zone. Just off the fingertips of Demetrius Robertson. Yeah, see that? Fromm is so good at throwing that fade route that you hold your breath when you blitz. And we saw him in the SEC championship game put some right down the pipe. He knew he had one-on-one -on -one from the slot. He throws it, and this is a 50-50 ball with Crawford. The crowd thinks he got his hands on him. You might be right. I think that's incidental. But that's Now, I'd, I'd really like to see what Gene thinks of this. To me, it's incidental.
Rodrigo Blackenship will try a 40-yard field goal. He's perfect so far this year. He still is. Georgia draws even on their senior kicker. We're tied at 10. Hey, man. Hello, man. How you doing? My, my, my. How the tables have turned. What tables? Well, you have two agents. Now I have two clients. You've met my new Mahomey. Patrick Mahomes. We're friends. What? Is that why we're here? Well, that's why I brought you here. I don't know why he's here. Well, Aaron takes his favorite agent everywhere. <laughs> well played, State Farm. Did we just have a breakthrough? No, don't think so. No, okay, great. Good. Hey, my name is George, and I love the Chick-fil-A grilled nuggets. It's like me grilling at home. It tastes very similar to that, except the seasoning. I, I probably can't season it as well as uh, Chick-fil-A does. The chicken's super tender and honestly the best nuggets I've ever tasted. My name is Meredith, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is the oven-toasted cheesy top layer. If home had a flavor, it would be Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese. I'm passionate about it. <laughs> this is Apple Card, a new kind of credit card. Created by Apple, not a bank. With a better way to track where you spend. A new level of privacy and security. Daily cash you get back every day. And no fees, not even hidden ones. Oh, and if you happen to be somewhere that doesn't accept Apple Pay yet, there's this. Nice. CC on CBS is sponsored by Izod, Chick Fil A, State Farm, and by GMC. So Georgia with a 40-yard field goal to draw even at 10-10. Eight and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter, and. Kind of a controversial play, or was it not? Gene, what'd you think about this? Uh, would it pass interference or not? You know, what draws your attention at first is the defensive back really never looks back to, to see where the football is. Our terminology is he's not playing ball, so really any contact rises to a higher level because of that. But in my opinion, although he doesn't look back, look, the contact, the hand fighting, a little play there, the reach of the arm, I don't think any of those actions rise to a level where it's materially restricting the receiver or putting him at a disadvantage that would rise to a level of a foul. I think it's a great no call, guys. Great. Thanks, you. Kickoff will go out. Uh, end zone. Bring it out to... The 25-yard line, our aerial coverage is sponsored by State Farm, a packed house, over 93,000, largest crowd ever at Sanford Stadium as you look in from high above. So now can the Georgia defense get another stop? They, you know, this is Kirby's guys. They, this is what he built as a defense. So far, Notre Dame's offense has been controlling the game. No havoc plays. No big plays until they had interception. Can they turn that turnover into something good for the defense to continue on for Georgia? It doesn't seem like the total yardage, the number of plays, and the average per play should be even. But it is almost dead even. Here's Bill. Throws out on the flat to Keys. And Keys got out for a couple, maybe three. Let's take a look at tonight's Scholar Athletes brought to you by Amazon Music. Chris Fink for Notre Dame, one of their captains. And Rodrigo Blankenship, who I just mentioned after the field goal. Amazon Music showing their commitment to the investment of our future by donating $1,000 to Notre Dame and Georgia's general scholarship fund. Fink, a senior out of Dayton, Ohio. He's in there right now. And it's Cole Komet in motion. Second down and seven for Ian Book. Book fires. That one was almost intercepted by J.R. Reed, and he would have had a touchdown had he held on to it. It's the second time tonight J.R.'s got his hands on one of those. And this time Ian Book never took his eyes off of Komet. He watches him the whole time as this play goes. And that allows the Georgia secondary to rack actually before he throws the ball.
Big third down here for both teams. And they're going to have to call a timeout. Ian Book didn't like the looks of something out there. A third down and seven with 7.46 to go in the third when we come back. Carhop Classic for just $2.99 is the perfect one-two punch of flavor and value. You Time! That! You need a trainer to help you eat the burger? Hey, stay out of this. Don't get in my head, man. There's barely room for me in there. Hurry in and try quarter pound double cheeseburger or six inch Philly Plus Tots for $2.99. I'm a tailgater tailgating to get to my tailgate. Now, it might not get me there any faster, but hey, it gets me ready for football. Let's tailgate. There's th I can't go anywhere. But you're so busy watching me tailgate that you don't see the one in front of you. And your cut rate car insurance, it might not pay for this. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. Like me. <laughs> one really famous guy and Colin Jost. Come on, get in there. What's the worst that happens? You get injured doing this dumb commercial and then it ruins your actual career? No Aaron Rodgers were harmed in the making of this commercial. Eyes on. Available at Kohl's. M for Mature. Play it with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Faith. Science. I can explain everything. Tuesday at 9 Eastern, join CBS Sports Network's team of experts in the studio to tackle all the hottest topics on the gridiron. Don't miss Inside College Football on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Let's check in with Jamie. A tough look for Georgia behind me. Solomon Kinley has emerged back out on the bench, but it was on crutches, and he had a boot on that left leg. But that's just on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, they are continuing to be depleted. Tracy Campbell never played in this game at corner. Eric Stokes is on the bench with that right ankle injury. He's not playing. And David Marshall, left foot injury. He's on the bench, not playing either. All right, Jamie, thanks. And they could use all the help they can get right now. Try to hold Notre Dame without a first down on this third and seven. Komet switches sides and sets up in a slot on the left. Fink in motion. Ian Book across the middle competes at the keys. Keys trying to get to the sideline. He's going to be short, well short of the first down. So Notre Dame shifted and then he went in motion and it told Ian Book that Georgia is in a zone. Because all they did is rotate their linebackers. Nobody else moved. Thus they have basically a wide receiver screen coming from the opposite side. A very safe play, but a play not likely to get a first down. So Devon Wilson, who had the interception that led to this Georgia field goal, has the tackle there that makes them come up short. Yeah, and that's one of the guys that had to step up. Jamie said two of the key corners are out. And number one had to come through. The freshman. True freshman punter to a true freshman receiver. As it's Blaylock back this time instead of Simmons, who bobbled one and dropped one that cost Georgia some points. Blaylock fields this fair catch cleanly. And Georgia will go back to work on offense with just under seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. I'm just wondering if they called something sideline on Notre Dame because the coaching staff is very upset. I know it's a formation that they're calling. We've seen more penalties on punts this year through a couple of weeks. Well, a, a lot of the teams are, are using exotic punt formations where they put people in motion and shift, and they're just not doing it in the proper timing. People, two people are moving at the same time, about as fast as Brian Kelly's mouth is moving right there to the official. Illegal formation offense, not enough men on the line of scrimmage. Five-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. First down, Georgia. So they add on the five at the end of the play. And the headlinesman still getting an earful from the Notre Dame head coach. 
Just under seven to play in the third quarter. Number three and number seven knotted at ten. Rudy's back. But this time, he's got a new dream. When I'm finished with college, I want to be Colonel Sanders. You can't be Colonel Sanders. You're Rudy. You were born to be the Colonel. From the creators of The Double Down. Howdy, folks. Get him in the fryer, boys. And once we get him in the fryer, we're going to go, 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 go. It's figure looking good. I've been ready for this my whole life. Rudy, too. He's Colonel Sanders now. These are my people. These are the ones who will reach for the stars. These are my people. By the light of the earth, you can tell they are ours. A new step to take, and a new day will break. Yes, these are my people. No, great presentation, Tim. Uh, could you email me the part about Geico, making it easy to switch and save hundreds? Oh, yeah, sure. You don't know my name, dear. <laughs> of course I know your name. I just get you mixed up with the other guy. What's his name? What's your name? Switch to Geico. You could save 15% or more on car insurance. Could you just tell me? I want this to be over. The new season of Young Sheldon is so money. What, two on the nose? Young Sheldon's back. Ooh. New time, 8, 7 central, this Thursday. Tuesday on CBS, Ziba is back on the season premiere of television's number one drama, NCIS, Tuesday at 8, 7 central on CBS. Well, Jeremiah Owusu-Koromora is an edge defender, kind of like a, a rover. He has to play in space. He makes the tackle in space. Comes up, handles a one-on-one -on -one tackle. He is an elite player, has elite quickness. Really, all over the field, he has been tonight probably the star, except for maybe the safeties. The star of the defense has been number six. First down for Georgia from its own 33-yard line. Georgia has an aimed one at George Pickett with their freshman receiver. He's got into the secondary and near the 49 yard line. You know, the only drive that really worked for a touchdown for Georgia is when they went power and ran the ball effectively against Notre Dame. If they gash a couple of these, that'll open up the deep ball. No deep balls in the game. Georgia has to be wondering when is it going to break to throw the ball deep because Notre Dame has not allowed them anything deep. They haven't even tried the ball. No. First down on the run by Harry. Pickens that I was talking about is to the top of your screen. Play action from deep out near side. Got it. Demetrius Robertson for another first down at the 31-yard line. When Jake was a freshman, the first thing we noticed is how well he threw the ball to the outside of the hash from the far sideline. He's about as good as you have as throwing that ball to the sideline. He's very accurate with the football on that outcome. Pick up at 19, back to throw again, looking for more. Scans the field, crossing right. Brian Harrion might have another first down. He does, just outside the 20. When you give Fromm time to throw the ball, he's going to do it. And this time, Thomas does a great job of keeping that block in the pocket free for Fromm to step up. They've got it to the 20. Here's a quick slant. Pager goes to the deck to make the catch and a pickup of five. Trying to laugh. There's a little stat when Fromm throws more than 30 balls they lose. I'm telling you, this guy can throw in any offense. They just choose not to do it in the past. They have the lead. They run the ball well, and they don't have to do it. We saw him 25 for 39. Seconds on play on. And in the championship game, he was a, a, a great player as well. He said he was in his zone. He didn't feel like he could miss a pass. Yes. The reason the fans are booing is because there's a guy down, and it's Awusa Koromoa, who is down on one knee. And just when Georgia had their hurry up yes. working, yes. They're, they're saying that he's stopping the flow. He wanted to watch that package of himself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Others can bring food to your door, but can they deliver high fives, create mini stampedes, or bring you instant hero status? McDonald's delivers something more. Delivering happy. McDonald's with Uber Eats. New user? Get $5 off. Oh, look. 
It's our dramatic little friend, the tire pressure light. False alarm, red alert, who knows? We know. Come into Discount Tire, and let's get you taken care of. We think you would really shine in the Aflac program. Aflac? Coach Saban, we have health insurance. Did health insurance pay for everything? No. We still have bills. Aflac gives you money directly to help with those. Aflac. And your deductibles, knee brace, whatever you choose. Aflac sounds like a winner. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We try. Get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover. Aflac is an official sponsor of the SEC. I had dinner on my 10th birthday here. You grew up here? understand why we're still fighting. FBI season premiere, CBS Tuesday. Brad, I think the fans were correct. Watch the two players involved. Number six goes down. And Ilya Kehos goes, Gilman says, get down. Ilya Gil, get down for the injury. And they were right. The fans were, that was not an injury. That was from the bench, the signal right there. Stop the flow of the Georgia offense, at least temporarily. Second down and five now. Jake Fromm hustles out. It's going to be a direct snap to DeAndre Swift. And he only spins for about two. So Georgia goes with a little wild dog offense with DeAndre Swift. Didn't really net him that much. So now they find themselves with a third down just when they had things rolling. Hard to, take, three. hard to take the ball out of 11's hands, right? I yep. mean, it's, you know, that guy just pretty good with the ball in his hands and having the running back next to him. They don't have a play yet, and they're under 10 seconds. Directing traffic down with eight, seven, five, in the gun. Three wide outs at a tight end. Here comes everybody for Notre Dame. From getting ground, throws on the run.
whatever, but that really hurts you losing 15 yards not catching the ball on a 40-yard punt. There's a look at Dooley Field at Sanford Stadium, 93,246. Largest crowd ever to watch a football game in this facility or in the state of Georgia for that matter. And now the dog with a lead with 218 remaining from the 18-yard line. DeAndre Swift. Got it out to the 25. DeAndre Swift, when he scores a touchdown, Georgia's 11 and 1. He does have a three yard touchdown earlier in the game. But he's had to work for his yard, 61 yards on 12 carries for DeAndre. Well, we do all the SEC games and talk to all the coordinators, and every defensive coordinator in the league says they hold their breath because number seven can take it to the house on any play. Notre Dame has controlled them so far. James Cook in motion. He fakes the handoff, and here's Swift. And a hurdle into the secondary for DeAndre Swift. And another first down, Georgia. He went right over number 20, Sean Crawford that time. Barely broke stride. I don't know if he was a hurdler in high school, but he could have been. That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. First down at the 35. You know, the three three and outs from the Notre Dame offense is now catching up with their defense. Swift stays in there in the backfield with Jake Fromm in the final minute of the third quarter. DeAndre went into the wall. Now he got into the secondary. He's got another first down. Spinning his way. It appears for a first down at the it, 45. It's so important for the offense to help the defense. When you go three and out three straight times, your defense starts to get gassed. And those tackles that look were so easy now become arm tackles. Now we get another Notre Dame player down. And again, the crowd yeah, is going to boo. They, and, and they should be penalized if the officials see it. If they see it, they need to call it. But it's tough to see. And that's yep. Asmar Bilal. Yeah, and, and that one, it looked like he had a, a chin strap problem when he went down on a knee. And that is, if, if seen by the officials, that is an unsportsmanlike penalty. And Jake Fromm saying, hey. There's no doubt on the first one. They got away with one. Now, we don't, you know, you don't know 100%. It was yeah, Jake Jordan. Look right there. That's, come on. But you, there's no doubt that Notre Dame is using that as a tactic once. Let's bring in Gene Steratore, who's been in this situation before many times. I have, I have, Brad, and Gary, to, 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 to your point, the first scenario when you have a teammate pulling another teammate down to, to, to tell him he's injured, I, I agree that jumps out. The, the situation the officials are in here, though, guys, is, look, when a player voluntarily goes down, you cannot ask an official to assume that that player is hurt at that time. It's a difficult place to be in as an official. Okay. We may think we know why he's going down, right. but we cannot assume that with safety right. being involved. You know, you saw Bilal come by Jake Fromm, and Fromm's shoulder kind of ran into yeah, his, he's got, his face mask. Fromm's got sharp elbows. Like, <laughs> babies are really sharp, I guess. <laughs> anyway, they're putting eye drops in now, on I the sideline. I think Gene's point is right on, though. How do you know for sure, right? If you call a penalty, the guy's really hurt. Looks right. like he got stuck in the eye there. And you know, you got to in, in that. They're on the side of caution. Absolutely. For the injury of the player. First and ten. Harry to the backfield now. With Farmer Hill get the call and just barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Before Tagovailoa Mosa made the stop from his defensive tackle position. Yeah. Inside, you know, with the graduation of Jerry Tillery, their big stout three technique inside tackle first round pick. There was questions of they could they stand up and hold up inside. They've done a good job inside. Well, three quarters in the books. Number three, Georgia. Took the lead in that quarter. And now the cell phone lights will come out at Sanford Stadium and the four fingers will go up. Who will control the fourth quarter? Number three, Georgia, or number seven, Notre Dame. Stick around with us and find out. Fansville by Dr. Pepper. It is 7 p.m. We crushed tech by 40. You should be out there celebrating. Let me smell your breath. <sighs> Not a trace of Dr. Pepper. Look what you're doing to her. Dr. Pepper, the official drink of Fansville. We think you would really shine in the Aflac program. Aflac? 
Coach Saban, we have health insurance. Did health insurance pay for everything? No. We still have bills. Aflac gives you money directly to help with those. Aflac. And your deductibles, knee brace, whatever you choose. Aflac sounds like a winner. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We try. Get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover. Aflac is an official sponsor of the SEC. I want my food to look the best it possibly can. I want my customers to look at that meat and say, wow, like, real meat is something that you can taste the difference in. Raised without antibiotics, all that stuff. It's good. It's quality food. Bob Hart's have a show from your CBS Monday. We just got off Hagrid's. It is by far the best ride. I was on the motorbike and we were on. I like the part where you like, take off really fast. And <laughs> best ride. ride in the whole park. That is the best ride ever. You guys have to ride it. Everything you need on a pizza. This is the works. Try a large works or meat pizza for just 12 bucks. Only at Papa John's. This is the nimble Chevy Trax, the versatile Chevy Equinox, the stylish all-new Chevy Blazer, and the roomy Chevy Traverse with seating for up to eight. The Chevy family of SUVs. No matter what you're looking for in an SUV, Chevy's got you covered. Current competitive owners get over $6,500 below MSRP on this well-equipped Equinox. See your South Florida Chevy dealer. Beyond the routine checkups, beyond the not-so-routine cases, Comcast Business is helping doctors provide care in whole new ways, all working with a new generation of technologies, powered by our GigSpeed network. Because beyond technology, there is human ingenuity. Every day, Comcast Business is helping businesses go beyond the expected to do the extraordinary. Take your business beyond. Look at all that meat. This meat, that meat. Is that more meat? Wait, is that she? Nope. Yep, it's meat. Try a large meats or works pizza for just 12 bucks. Only at Papa John's. We just got off Hagrid's. It is by far the best ride. I was on the motorbike and we were oh! I like the part where you like take off really fast. And <laughs> best ride in the whole park. That is the best ride ever. You guys have to ride it. A six-year-old Florida girl arrested and even fingerprinted tonight at 11. During the timeout, the LED lights go down, the red lights come out, and then the cell phones look like fireflies in the Georgia night. And that's the setup to set up our fourth quarter. 13 to 10, number three Georgia leading number seven Notre Dame. 15 minutes remaining. Here we go. We wanted a close game between number three and number seven. We got a partner. I think Brian Kelly, if you asked him three hours ago, would you take 13 10? Yep. Or would he take it? But the bad part is three straight three and outs. He's starting to get a gas defense. The Georgia team has run 22 plays in the third quarter, and they really had to take one dive to slow him down, and, and for instance, to slow down one drive. So right now, Georgia has taken control of this football game. Let's see how Jake Fromm does to open the fourth quarter. From the 46-yard line, Fromm throws long left sideline. Got it to Cajun. Transfer number 15 from the University of Miami is matched up one on one with the outside with Crawford. Again, great coverage. Puts it in a spot not even a professional corner could handle. Back in the red zone and back to the air goes Brown and back to Cager he goes. Flag down. This time it's a slant. Went fade, come back to a slant. Did he have his hands on him before the catch? Foul for illegal touching. Offense number 89. Number 89 was covered by a wide receiver. Five-yard penalty. First down. 
Penalties on Charlie Warner, and he sort of shrugs his shoulders as if to say, I don't get it. I so was it, set up it, where I wanted to be. It must be he went downfield and hit somebody before the ball was completed downfield. Because he's covered, he's not allowed to go down the field and block. Cager lined up on the line of scrimmage and covered up his eligible receiver. There's the contact back there with Werner running into Drew White, the middle linebacker. If you see it covered, the tight end on the play, it's a good call. And Warner goes downfield and blocks. That is an illegal play. So just when it looked like it was going to be first and goal, instead, it's first and 15 back around the 23. And remember earlier they had the unnecessary roughness on the goal line that backed them up and stalled when they had the four-play minus one-yard drive. Another penalty that could stall a potential touchdown drive. This Notre Dame defense has to force a field goal to stay in this game. Simmons, Pickens, and Blaylock, the three wideouts for Jake Fromm on first and 15. They'll keep it on the ground to Harry. Harry, a little juke move, nice move for the 15. Got some of it back. Doesn't it look different? Doesn't it look like Georgia is faster now? In the first half, it looked like the Irish had the fast legs. Now they've worn down just a half a step, and the Georgia players look quicker. And the tackling's not quite as not crisp. Not as crisp. You know, usually when they say poor tackling, you think the guy doesn't know how to tackle. What it is, he's out of position. That's why he's reaching and making plays. Right now, the Irish aren't in as great a position as they were in the first half when they were fresher. Inside the 15. Here comes the blitz. Here's the lob to the corner. Pickens. No. Well, that's great coverage. He would have taken a fantastic catch by Pickens. This time it was Bracey, number 28. Remember, he popped the ball out earlier in the game on the fade. He's got it one on one. It's just him. I think that's the first time they've targeted him here. Didn't he have one where he knocked the guy out of the back of the end zone on one? I thought he knocked the ball loose. He might be wrong. I, I, I think that's a good call. That's fighting for a 50-50 ball. Yep. Uh, a little, he had a little bit of a bit of jersey right there. He had some jersey. It's hard to use your vertical when a guy's got his hands on the jersey, right? Third down at seven. Yeah, they could have called that. Third look. All on blitz. Brown lets it fly. Back shoulder. Cager. Touchdown. I think he got his right foot down. Spun, he got his really on the field as a catch for a touchdown. That play is under further review. Troy Pride, number five. Good position, but another perfect back shoulder throw. And this time, Cager twists and gets his right foot down. One on one. Pride matched up with Cager, who has got this thing going. Can't throw it much better or can't catch it much better than that. And Georgia strikes here in the fourth quarter. Well, remember Jake Fromm had, what, 60 yards passing at a halftime, 59. Now he's at 172. They've turned him loose. Let's check in with Gene, see what he thinks. What they're looking After at right now, guys. Is field, field. Touchdowns confirmed. Mm -hmm. Totally agree with that ruling of confirmation. The receiver is falling after getting one foot down, and he must retain possession of that football through the fall, which he does through the entire replay. It's good when they look at a play like this, guys, and they put it away so quickly. We don't have a four-minute delay exactly. on it. I agree with you 100%. By the way, Cager, 6'5", 5'11". The extra point by Wagon Chip is good. And suddenly Georgia up double digits at home. 13-19 left. Their junior quarterback, who doesn't lose often, has got his team in command right now. You know the cloud can take you places. But you also know the journey can be a whirlwind. with
hybrid cloud expertise from HPE. You can change this story. Take on uncertainty, gain visibility, and maintain control. Because when everything feels like the cloud, there's no place to go but forward. Plants capture CO2. What if other kinds of plants captured it too? If these industrial plants had technology that captured carbon like trees, we could help lower emissions. Carbon capture is important technology, and experts agree. That's why we're working on ways to improve it, so plants can be a little more like plants. Game recap between number seven and number three here. Georgia with the lead right now, but they had some problems on special teams. This fumble caught by Tyler Simmons in the end yard line led to Notre Dame score. Ian Book looking for the back of the end zone, but his tight end snares it before it got there. Notre Dame led 7 of it. DeAndre Swift, his third rushing touchdown of the year from three yards out. That tied it at seven. Notre Dame did a great job of have to this point on uh, tackling in the open field, but they're starting to crumble a little bit in that category. And now Jake Fromm just hit Lawrence Cager on a touchdown of 15 yards, and Georgia's got a 20 to 10 lead. And there's the lead dog, as I called him earlier, firing up his team over there on the sideline. Yeah, and when you look at it, when you went through that whole sequence, I mean, Notre Dame's had success on offense, but their only scoring touchdown drive was on a turnover and a nine-yard drive that really a busted play for their touchdown. But I think the story of the second half is the Georgia defense has stepped up. Three straight three-play drives, two three-and-outs, and one three-play interception has gassed the Notre Dame defense. Blagenship to kick. About nine times out of ten, it's a touchback when he kicks it. And same story, different day. 13-19 to play in regulation. If you're just joining us, Brad Nessler, Gary Danielson, Jamie Erdahl, and Gene Steratour from a sold-out Sanford Stadium, Dooley Field, the largest crowd ever to see a football game here. 93,246. The toughest Play ticket ended. probably ever in this stadium's no history. Foul for an illegal wedge. So we're going to pick down up the 25-yard line. Brian and again, Kelly, that, is a, upset. that is a new rule. Even if you form the wedge and don't block anyone, it'll be called an illegal wedge. Even if you put two players together, it's an illegal wedge. You don't even have to block anyone. Notre Dame fans sitting on their hands a little bit now. Georgia fans are not. The offense has to get back into this football game for Notre Dame. How do they do it? Georgia has been squatting on every throw. They saw the first half short passing game, and they said, Notre Dame, do something different. Double blitz. Tony Jones on the toss. He'll lose a yard. Georgia bringing some heat on the ground game that time. The Georgia defense has kind of put their heels in the ground and will not back up. No speed to force this defense to back up from Notre Dame. Nothing has scared them so far. Here's what Gary was talking about in the second half. It's been all Georgia. Time of possession, yardage, number of plays. Second and 11 for Ian Book. Over the middle, completes it to Claypool. Claypool with a spin move, but he's going to be a yard or so shy of the first down. They'll bring up third. Third and short. Remember, they've had illegal procedure penalties in this situation. All three receivers to the near side. Jones. I think he got the first down. Didn't end up there, but I think he got enough forward progress to move the sticks. And he did. 
And right now, the Georgia defensive staff and players are going, thank you, we need a blow. Two or three more first downs, get into scoring position. I'll bet Brian Kelly already is thinking, if we get this thing near the 50-yard line, I'm playing four-down football. The first first down of the half for the Fighting Irish. From the 35, think in motion. They fake the toss to him. And now Book comes up fire. He's got a man wide open out there. Tremble. Tommy Tremble. And that's his first catch, I believe. Nice call by staff from Notre Dame that time. Chip Long knows his team needed something. They twisted it around a little bit, found a little different wrinkle, and got the play. Tommy Tremble, whose daddy played here for Georgia in the secondary back in the day in the 90s. Highly recruited kid from this part of the country. And that's his first catch, and it's a big one. Here's a flea flicker. Book getting chased, throws on the run, and it is intercepted by J.R. Reed. He's had his hands on two other ones. He got both hands on that one. This is a veteran move and an athletic move at the same time. Watch how far J.R. Reed is away from this receiver when he breaks on the ball. What a play by the leader of that secondary. J.R. Reed is right here. Watch how far he has to go. He's back, he's back, and then he starts to run. And he beats the pass there. You know Ian Book thought he had. His daddy was a great receiver in the NFL. Junior looking pretty good with that one. That's crisp. Brewed to be crisp. Bud Light. Take the floor somewhere unexpected. Everything you need is at your fingertips and at the Home Depot on Trend Styles with innovations to make it pet proof. Make it life proof. Make it waterproof. Make it beautiful. And the Home Depot has everything you need to make it yours. Today is the day for doing with exclusive life-proof vinyl plank flooring starting at 319 a square foot. Only at the Home Depot. That one? No. What about that? No. What about now? No. That do it? How about now? No! I just don't know. I mean, I don't know who labeled this thing. Yeah? No. CC on CBS is sponsored by Sonic, Progressive, The Home Depot, and by Bud Light. The interception was under review, Gary. Yeah, first thing, you're going to get a corner blitz here from the outside by number 26, Tariq McGee. But the play that J.R. Reed, he's 10 yards deep on this play. Yeah. Watch J.R. Reed, how deep he is on this play and how he reacts. 10 yards deep, he beats the throw to Fink on the play and makes a big-time safety play. The pressure on the blitz forced Book out of the pocket, and then he cuts off the throw. He anticipated what great safety play. As you heard the PA announcers say, first and 10 dogs at their own 33 with a 10 point lead now in 11 11 to go in regulation. Jake Fromm under center with DeAndre Swift behind it. And it's DeAndre. DeAndre Swift into the second level. And another first down, and now he's starting to close in on 100. Yeah, this is the 
misconception about this Georgia offensive line is that all Georgia wants to do is pound. Well, they don't do that. They loosen you up, but then when they get control of the game, they can pound you. When you get a little bit tired, they have the option to pound you with that running back right there. Probably one carry shy of a 100-yard night for DeAndre Swift. Got it out to the 48-yard line. Isaiah Wilson, number 79 in the game, did not start, been injured, but he has made some key blocks like that one right there again. Swift got to the 50. That should put him just about at 100. Yeah, he's, he's uh, electric, and he can cut. We've been seeing this for three years, basically. When he sticks his foot in the ground, he can cut, power inside, he catches the ball to the backfield, and when he gets to the second level, he can go over the second level. <laughs> he makes his own level there. Yes. He's got 98 yards on 16 carries. Yeah, that, that's the fear. He's, you know, he's like Ezekiel Elliott. He's like a touchdown waiting to happen at any time. Brian Harrigan's going to give him a breather. Harrigan hasn't had a bad game either. Brom off the play fake. Throws down the middle and throws a dart to Demetrius Robertson again. What a read by the quarterback this time. The linebacker jumps the running back, so you're going to come behind him. Watch him jump the running back inside. When you got the running back, look at the space behind the linebacker. You know you're going to throw it in that area. All of us that have played quarterback, that's the read. You watch that middle linebacker. If he jumps those running backs, you're going right over his shoulder. So another Georgia first down at the 35. Look at the difference a half makes. Even though he only missed one pass, only 59 yards, but... Jake Fromm has warmed it up. Yeah, it seems like also a different commitment to throwing the ball downfield, too. Arian back to the line of scrimmage. That's about it. Tagovailoa Amosa from his defensive tackle spot makes another stop. We're under nine minutes. Remaining in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and Jake, Jake Fromm is so smart. He's also now starting to work that clock, snaps, snaps the ball late in the, in the play clock. He knows he's got the lead. No need to go fast now. See it? He's, he knows exactly where it is. Going to get that thing down under 10 before he even starts to lift the foot up. Swift spins and is dropped. Nice tackle. Drew White made the first hit, and then Awusa Koromoa put him down. Don't forget later in the game, the play of the game presented by Jersey Mike Subs. Jake Fromm, his favorite saying is, you can't go broke taking a profit. And he's profiting here in the second half for his third-ranked Bulldogs. It was interesting. We asked J.R. Reed, who faces him all the time in practice Friday, what makes him so good? And he goes, you know, I tell our guys, you have to disguise, but if we do, if one guy's out of sync, he'll read it and gas you. Third and ten. Pressure coming on from this time. He's going to run it right up the middle. Takes a hit and another, and he's very close. If they give him the spot, then it looks like one of the officials gave him. It might be a first down. Yeah, I'll tell you what. The Georgia staff is holding their breath on this stuff. Backup quarterback this year is a walk-on. Stetson Bennett. Justin Fields playing for Ohio State. Jacob Easton's playing for Washington the last two years. He's on his own. Taking those hits long term is worrisome. He needs to know when to get seven or eight yards. Look right there at Stetson. When you get seven or eight yards, take a slot. They're here. I think they're going to work at the spot on this. Good job by the replay official. Called it a first down, but the down, the, the yard line to gain, it was in question. They had to get to the 25-yard line. And you see the yellow line, and that's not official, but it's pretty darn close. Gene, Steratore, what do you think? 
I know we all will look to see where that football kind of ends, guys, but let's remember it's when that body part which marks the runner down officially, it's where the football is when that occurs. And if we look and see the backside of the quarterback here, when his backside hits the ground at that point there, it is where the football is at that moment. I'm looking at the 25 and a half yard line. He's going to be about a half yard short. After review. Runner was short of the line of gain. It will be fourth and one from the 26 yard line. And there you have it. Yeah, I, I don't know what a field goal does to really help Georgia here right now. You know, 13 point game. You know, I mean, are you going to go for it? You got all these five star offensive linemen. Do you try to make this fourth down play? The discussion going on with Robertson from I, I think Kirby if I'm Smart. Kirby Smart, I'm going to go for this. You just don't see what a field goal gives you. I know, I know you could kick another field goal later. I get that. But right now, I think it might be worth trying to pick this up. With 7.16 to go, there might not be a later. Good point. And it's less than a yard. You know, I'm looking at my team if I'm Kirby and go, you know, sometime in this season, we're going to need one like this. Let's do it right now and show we got it. And now he's going to go field goal. Yep. Now Rodrigo Blankenship is perfect on the season. Two for two tonight. This will be a 43-yard attempt, so a little bit deeper for Hot Rod. From the left hash. Blankenship from 43. Right down Lumpkin Street. Tack on three more and a 13-point lead for the Bulldogs. That's what you're wearing for your first day? You have a lot to learn about living in the house. Like what? Always put your Heisman above any silly college rivalry. Play Alabama's fight song. Play Auburn's fight song. Bama! Auburn! Tebow never loses his cool. What is this guy, sloth? Come on, move it! Damn! And remember, the rookie always gets the bags. Seriously? Yo, how you doing? What is this? Look at this suit. Nice suit! Look Come here, here man! Oh, man. <laughs> Is this the new iPhone? Yeah. I've been waiting for this all year. Verizon's got the new iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro. It has three cameras. <gasps> I need this color. This is so amazing. And when you get iPhone on the best network, you get so much more. That is so cool. Like up to $700 off iPhone 11 Pro when you switch on America's most reliable network with Apple Music included. Seriously, how could you get the new iPhone and not put it on Verizon? All right, so can I keep this? Why get iPhone anywhere else when Verizon gives you more? All right, Brad, once again, I have revolutionized the songwriting process. Oh, here we go. I know I can't play an instrument, but this, this is my forte. Obviously, for auto insurance, we've got the wheel route. Obviously. Retirement, we're going with a long-term play. Makes sense. Pet insurance. Wait, let me guess. Flea flicker. Yes. How'd you know? I'm studying my playbook. Yeah, actually. Hello, Gibbs. You're in danger. Don't miss the NCIS season premiere. Diva. She's alive. CBS Tuesday. crowd in their saddle and they sure have made a whole lot of rattle at Sanford Stadium 13 point lead now for the dogs with 654 remaining in the ballgame Five for the Notre Dame offense and out to New York and Adam Zucker. Zucker. 
Hey, Ness. Texas was down at home to undefeated Oklahoma State in their conference opener until Flea Flicker. Sam Ellinger connecting with Cade Brewer for his fourth touchdown pass of the night. Longhorns defense stepping up as well. They're up 13 with about two minutes to go. Back to you. Here we've got just under seven to go. The second half possessions, not pretty. Yeah, so when you've got 14 plays in this whole second half, that's uh, you know, not good enough. It's going to have to be, remember the end of the half, that field goal drive Notre Dame, that's how the tempo they're going to have to play now. They don't have time to waste anything. they got to play up-tempo right from the start. Book quick slant, knocked out of the hands of the intended receiver, Claypool. He took a shot. Richard LeCount and Tyreek McGee put the wood to him. Yeah, and again, his Georgia defense is not backing up. No deep balls, nothing down the middle, and the safeties are jumping everything that comes in front of them right now. LeCount and J.R. Reed, the veteran safeties back there for Georgia. Second and ten. Book, quarterback, draw. He's going to throw off it, got it to Komet. I thought he was going to run with it, but he threw it. Komet's got reception number eight. So Komet had seven catches in the first half, and he's been blank in the second half. So now. That was a nifty play. It was. I don't know if it was drawn up that way, but it worked. Yep. Third down and a yard at six and a half to play. They fake it to Jones. They come up fire an easy pitch and catch to Claypool for the first down. Claypool big and rangy. This time almost uh, conceded. They're going to throw the quick out on third and one. We might have to give that to you. Well executed. It was off the play action play, but... He knew he had Claypool all the way. Book scans the field, has time, pump fakes. Running for his life now. He'll keep it. He's holding he got a good gain out of it. Let's go down to Jamie. A great snag there by Chase Claypool in that last play. He is a talent that comes from outside of Vancouver, a small town called Abbotsford. Not a lot of wide receivers come out and go on to play Division One football. They have an entire wall dedicated to him at his high school of photos. We all go to schools where there's a ton of athletes that move on. Well, this wall you can see at Aberford's <laughs> primary secondary, and it's pretty unbelievable the fact that they are so proud of him up there. No doubt. He's a heck of a player. Just picked up eight. Second down and two. Again, Book throws on the run. Throws it to the sideline and into the bench. Still got two more downs to pick it up, but they, something wonderful was holding on the other side of the field from the secondary. Flags down right about at midfield. Yeah, all the Georgia bench is pointing towards the Irish. Illegal receiver yeah. downfield. That's what happens when the quarterback gets out of the pocket, takes so long, those linemen might have been an RPO type play, right? I was surprised on the previous play when he scrambled it through to Komet that they didn't have that call too. Here it is. I wonder if it was the center, Jared Patterson, number 50. An eligible receiver, downfield number 72. Five-yard penalty, second down. That's the right tackle, Hainsey. So let's watch, see how far he gets down. You're allowed three yards. He blocks, he's less than three. Oh, yeah, at the end, he just kind of had a guy and then kind of fell off of him and stuck his arm out. Boy. Throws into some traffic, came out, in and out of the hands. So the tight end again, and J.R. Reed again was there. Well, and why wouldn't you be there? That's all they're throwing, right? I mean, at the crossing routes, he's jumping every one of them. They're going to have to bring something across and then something behind them. That's the only way you're going to get deep. They've been preaching havoc plays for the Georgia defense, and Jamie said, what's a havoc play? J.R. Reed said, you ready? Tackle for loss, a sack, a batted ball, a pressure that produced an incompletion, a fumble, or, in my case, an interception, which he had on the last series. And, and when I played, that was called Chicago Bears every game. <laughs> They're down at seven. Book backpedaling. Now comes forward. 
He's going to run again, and he got the first down. Nice play by the Notre Dame quarterback. All right, still a football game here. You know if Notre Dame can get into the end zone, they're going to go onside kick. They're not going to give the ball back to Georgia. So now it's make a touchdown and onside kick is the strategy. They're in Georgia territory at the 49. And every play, you know, draw play screens are an option, but right now it's all on the quarterback. Just a four-man rush. Now a late extra rush here is Book got a wide open commit into the Georgia secondary inside the corner. Boy, you talk about a tight end having a night. They had two deep safeties, and you bring right up the seam route, right up the seam right there. Perfect. Well, kind of an odd look right there. Safety just jumped with count number two. He starts out in the middle and runs right past the seam route to the outside. Pick up a 31. And into the red zone, the Georgia 18-yard line. Here book. Throwing to the end zone, just overshot. Claypool is intended receiver, and there's a flag down. Yep. Personal foul. Continued hands to the face. Number 74 on the offense. 15-yard penalty. First down. Mankenberg with another penalty. That one is costly as far as they're going to walk it outside the 30-yard line. Take a peek right here. Gets up. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And on the play, Nolan Smith goes inside, and uh, that's about textbook right there yeah, for it is. hand to the face mask. First to 25. Book throws. You got Fink. Trying to bring tackles. Gets down back to the 27. Richard LeCount stayed with him when we approach four minutes. Time is becoming important. Remember, Notre Dame's only got one timeout remaining. Yeah, they've only got one path. Score onside kick. Again, the noise getting to the offensive line a little bit. Book loads, fires, far sideline. What a catch by Claypool. Yeah. What do they call it? At the four-yard line. Wow, nice, nice play. Great phase that time to the outside. McGee is right there, but Claypool leans. And does he fall out of bounds? They have to take a look at this. It Notre Dame's like trying to go right bounds. now. Kirby is even going to take a timeout to ensure they look Point at the on the one. field with the catch in bounds. This play is under further review. K Kirby is running down there. You go, please tell me you're going to review this because I'm right here. And they said, no, no, we're going to review it. Does he come? Does anything get down? Wow. Does his right foot get down before he lands, though? Gene? I think his right foot came down. Let's keep, let's uh, bring Gene in. This is a bang banger, Gene. I know, Brad, but Gary is right on it from where I sit, and I believe that that right foot touches right before the backside of that receiver's body hits out of bounds. If, if we can and freeze it, I think it, it's a great job. We'll see some air. Now my butt would have been on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe years ago it might not. But right now my butt would have been on the ground, but this guy's got a skinnier butt than me. Right there. <laughs> there's the foot and there's space. I agree. That's a great job by the officials, guys. You know, we get this luxury frame by frame to look at these plays. And I think at times we forget how fast this really is. And, and, and they get these plays in live action. And it's it's really fun to yeah. watch from where I am. And I do cheer for the officials at times. Yes. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Completed pass is what was called. And it stands. And it's first and goal at the four-yard line. Just to give us an idea, let's look at this in regular speed. That's what you officiate now. That's what those guys on the field are looking at. Yeah, great call. Great point, Gene. And they do it all game, and we pick apart the bad ones. Kind of our job, but remember all the good ones they call. First and goal, Notre Dame. Ian Book, blitz coming, throws to the corner, Claypool, touchdown! They needed a score 
in a hurry. They got one. Yeah, again, remember last time they were inside the 10? They threw, threw, threw. Well, they throw again. Let's see if the pressure, let's see the pressure release. This time's a stop. It's not a back shoulder, it's a stop. Kind of gives them a little bit of a shove. McGee, you know, if you push with your elbow, you get away with it. McGee could not stop fast enough, and Claypool got away with it. Claypool with the second touchdown catch of the year, and a very, very big one. I learned that from Chris Collinsworth back in the day. He goes, you can push with your elbow all day, they'll never call it. Up and good. He was a Cincinnati Bengal when I heard that, by the way. But he was right. There's a flag down on the extra point. Offside. Multiple players on the defense. Penalty has declined. Point is good. So three minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. The touchdown by Poole caps a 75-yard march in 10 plays, and the Irish are still very much in it. Spending your days playing while still getting a check plan. Let us help with your plan. Yep, every month. Great. Sounds like a plan. Start a plan that flexes with yours. New York Life. You name it. The Ford F-150 will tow up to 13,200 pounds of it. Wait. Alexa, play that song that goes, I hate you so much right now. I'm gonna miss you so much. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Alexa, call Kelly. You missing me already? <laughs> Maybe. I knew it. I knew it. Carhop Classic for just $2.99 is the perfect one-two punch of flavor and value. You time that! You need a trainer to help you eat the burger? Hey, stay out of this. Don't get in my head, man. There's barely room for me in there. Hurry in and try a quarter pound double cheeseburger or six inch Philly plus tots for $2.99. CBS Tuesday. You defied FBI orders. I was trying to save lives. You suspended. The season premiere of NCIS New Orleans, CBS Tuesday. From the executive producer, Chuck Lorre, comes a love story made in America. Catch the original comedy, Bob Hart's Abishola, premiering Monday after The Neighborhood on CBS. So a 75-yard drive by far the best of the night for the Irish at 342 and 10 plays. Yeah, and they're back to within six. Yeah, remember, they blew two timeouts early in this half. Now they only have one, the option. You either go onside kick, but if you want to chance it and kick it deep, you could get the ball if you do everything right with one timeout with about a minute 30 to go. That's Brian Kelly's choice. Georgia with a pooch kick here. Going to field it. Yeah, it's DeAndre Swift. Not a bad guy to have his hands on it, but they drop him in the open field nicely. So that's a decision that Brian Kelly's made. If they do it right, Get a three and out, and Georgia does everything right, running the ball and not going out of bounds. They could get the ball with a minute 30 to go. If they don't get a three and out, game's over. At the 24-yard line, Georgia with a six-point lead and a veteran quarterback in Jake Fromm at the controls. And DeAndre Swift behind him. These Georgia players have not even seen the fourth quarter of the first three weeks of the season. James Cook on a sweep and he's dropped by White. Loss of four. Drew White, what a play. Just be patient, Notre Dame. You don't need to burn a timeout. Maybe Georgia will throw and stop the clock. Well, that middle linebacker out of Boca Raton, Florida, is on a big night, too. Yeah. 
He has. And, and, and again, this game, without the options and everything that he's faced in the first game, he feels more comfortable. He's just got more experience. You can see it on tape. Second down at 14. Two and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Three wideouts and Charlie Warner, the tight end. They'll keep it on the ground, Georgia, though, as DeAndre Swift just got back now to the scrimmage. Now they'll do it. Perfect. Can't run it any better. The defense did it. The decisions were firm. They know what they're doing. Brian Kelly took the timeout when I would have after second down, but you had to have two stops. Now what do you do if you're Kirby Smart? Do you let Jake Fromm throw the ball here? Now well, speaking of Jake Fromm, let's take a look at the GMC game changer. A lot of people have said to me, Jake Fromm has never really had to win a game and be big numbers as far as stats. I could, I, well, you know, he wins most of the time. Who do you, exactly. why do you care if he's got exactly. stats? And in this second half, he's been pretty special again. And now they're going to ask him probably to be special one more time here. Well, here's what you got to think if you're calling plays for Georgia, though. If we let him pass, what are the odds that we can throw a 14-yard first down? Are we better off running the ball and burning 40 seconds off the clock? These are the decisions. First pressure play of the year for Georgia. Because if you punt it, you know, you're going to gain 35, 45 yards. Unless you punt it like the first punt of the night. Yeah, that's true. Well, we're about to find out mm -hmm. if they're going to turn him loose or not. One thing to point out. Well, we'll wait. Let's watch this one. Swift with Fromm in the backfield. Notre Dame might have jumped. Could be a free play. Fromm throws. Tipped. Incomplete. Intended for Simmons. But again, it looked like maybe somebody fell into the neutral zone. Offside. Defense number 95. Five-yard penalty. Third down. Tonga below Amosa. So it's going to be third down and nine now. Uh, obviously, they were going to put the, hand, the ball in the hands of the quarterback, weren't they? You've got to trust Jake Fromm just enough. And a good snap that time by Troy Hill. I don't even know if he waited for the actual snap count. He saw him in the neutral zone and snapped it. A good play by Troy Hill that time, number 55. Now third down is shorter. Biggest play of the game. He faked the snap. Almost like a head bop, but he got away with it. Fromm dropped the ball. Now throws deep. Pickens had his hand on it. Fromm somehow got the handle on that thing and got a pretty good pass away. So by making an incomplete pass, they give Notre Dame 36 more seconds. And that was close. Again, remember what Gene told us before. When the defender doesn't look back, you're more likely to call pass interference. Pride is very fortunate to get away with that one. He had his hands on the collar of Pickens that time. A no call. And got away with it. Jake Camarda to punt. Fink is back deep. Oh, and another knuckleball of a punt. He, it. he did. He almost missed that thing. End over end. Where are they going to spot it? 50. 48 yard line. You know what? Let's go back to Kirby's decision, though, to kick the field goal. At least now he knows that they don't tie it with a field goal. They got to have a touchdown to win. That's why he went for that field goal. You got to give him credit for that decision. He forces Notre Dame to score a touchdown now instead of tying it with a field goal. He and Book was sensational on Notre Dame's last drive. Does he have any more magic left? And he, the magic went through Claypool, number 83, and Komet, number 84. Irish fans are back into it now. The whole country is probably back into it right now. This is how you become a Notre Dame legend, pulling off one like this. From the 48. Book, straight four-man rush for Georgia. Flushed out of the pocket, throws on the run and completes it. Tony Jones out of the backfield. Would have been better off having an incomplete. That's not enough yards. All that time for two yards is not worth it. Try to set up in a hurry. Down to a minute 40 from the Georgia 49. Low snap. Book handles it. Comes up fire and complete to Claypool. Out of bounds with a first down.
Oh, that's too easy. Claypool has been just a go-to receiver. He's off by, by, by 15 yards. That must have been a corner blitz because the safety came over late on the play, bringing that corner cat, and Ian Book read it and delivered it. First down. This time, Georgia brings pressure. He lobs one, and it's just going to be over by the hedges. Georgia had not brought a lot of pressure until that point right there. They've been bringing the corner, and it helped them on some, but on the last play, it burned them. Second nobody down covered, and ten. Nobody covered Claypool at all. At the Georgia 40. Book goes short to Jones in the middle. Got only a couple of yards out of it. He's tackled right in the middle of the field, and the clock will run. Georgia changes up their defense. Some new bodies coming in as Book brings up the Irish. Third down and nine. Approaching a minute. Ian Book has to throw another one away. Third and nine, fourth and nine. I was watching Cole Komet run across the formation that time, and he was gassed. But you can't substitute for him. You got to run it out. Here's your ball game. Irish need a first down. They've got to get to the Georgia 30. Book. Wait a minute, they blew the whistle. And Georgia took a timeout before the snap. For the snap. Timeout. And I think Georgia. the Notre Dame receivers are timeout for that timeout. 30 they seconds. Gassed. So the drama builds with just 58 seconds remaining. And a fourth down and nine upcoming. Well, this is a timeout for Notre Dame, too, to catch their breath. As I said, the receivers needed it. I mean, they were, you could tell the, the last few routes, Cole Komet couldn't even get out of his stance, and they needed a blow. But, you know, as Georgia rotated their players, you're not going to rotate your good receiver. You got nobody else. So who do you go to, 83 or 84? I mean, that's been the money for the Irish offense in the second half. Georgia's won 15 straight games in this stadium. Can they hang on and preserve number 16 against the seventh-ranked Irish of Notre Dame? Fourth and nine. It seems to me it would be hard to go again away from Claypool because he can win a 50-50 ball. He's at the bottom of the screen right here. This is the ball game. If Notre Dame doesn't get a first down, Buck's in trouble. Given Chase, he's just going to lay it up in the middle of the field, and it's knocked down by Georgia. D.J. Daniel got a hand on it, and you saw the exhale from Kirby Smart on the Georgia sideline. Jermaine Johnson, number 11, and Nolan Smith, number 4, forced Ian Book into a Hail Mary. And this time, Ness, it was an answer. No, it wasn't. What an effort. Great effort. Great effort. By, great effort by the team. He had almost no chance. He gets flushed right away. Nobody blocks Nolan Smith, number four. Throws it up. Saves it for one chance. Claypool was out there, but he was double covered. And DJ Daniel out of Griffin, Georgia, got that hand on it right there. Well, Notre Dame proved one thing. Everybody said they can't play with the elites. Yes, they can. They played with the elites. Jake Fromm takes a knee. Ian Book has nothing to be ashamed of. Nor does Brian Kelly and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. And I don't think this ends Notre Dame's playoff hopes either. It's a good enough game now. They run the table. Things happen. They'll come back into the conversation. Jake Fromm is 27-5 and five as the Georgia starting quarterback. He takes the final knee. And in front of 93,246, it's everything we expected, I think, and then some. 
It's funny. It's everything we expected and everything we didn't expect at the same time. <laughs> That's true. Jake Fromm's with Jamie. I can tell, Jake, you're just taking in the scene right now. How did this environment feel to play in? Uh, it's a blessing. Praise God. This is unbelievable. The atmosphere we've had tonight, the game we've played, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm so thankful to be on the field with my teammates, playing for Dog Nation. It's unbelievable. I'm so thankful. Two years ago, Kirby's dad told him that was a big win against Notre Dame. How big is this win for you? This is huge. This is huge. This is the first big, really home game. One that's been hyped up more than the normal. This is unbelievable. We're so thankful the fans came out. They helped us on third down a ton. This is unbelievable. We're thankful to be here. How did your offense start to click more so in the second half than any other part of the game? We knew we were close. It was the body blows. It was the physicality. We just kept hitting them, hitting them, hitting them. And they just finally just started wearing on us. And so we started, started being able to run the, uh, run the ball more. We started making plays, uh, throwing the ball. And it's just unbelievable. How happy are you that you didn't have to face your own team defense tonight? Because they were making some great tackles. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Uh, they're nonstop. They're relentless. And that's what they did. They came out and played tonight. Congratulations. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. The team over there with uh, fans from the student section. And I think the Georgia crowd, as Jake said, was a major influence on the game. It caused Notre Dame to take at least two timeouts. Back to Jamie with Kirby Smart. Wow. Coach, you just said wow. Why? That's what college football is all about, man. I, I hate that somebody had to lose that game. because I got a lot of respect for the way they played and all the negative things they've heard and come out and play like they did. They played really physical as a team, and so did we. We persevered. I'm proud for our university. I'm proud for all the people in this community that support us. Just a great team effort. They tested you all the way down the stretch. What did your defense show you on that side of the ball tonight? A lot of perseverance. I mean, we got some guys on defense. We play a lot of players. Play a lot of players. Then we got 37 guys who play 25 or more plays, and they played hard tonight. A big win against Notre Dame two years ago. How big was this one? It was a big win because we had to come from behind. We got a lot of things to fix to get better down the road, but I'm proud of how our guys competed. You have butterflies right now about this win? No butterflies now. I had butterflies about five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Well, there's an honest answer <laughs> from a coach who just got a big, big win in non-conference play, maybe the biggest non-conference game ever played in Athens, and Georgia holds on as the third-ranked dogs win it 23-17. to We'll be back in Athens to wrap it up. Coming up shortly, Brian Harry and Ian Book played his heart out. Just came up short. Not quite enough timeouts left near the end. And Daniel makes the play to knock down the final pass for the Georgia defense led by that guy. Is that... Casey Diaz? Gordon Ramsay handing out samples. Seems like just an okay use of your culinary talents, dude. <laughs> yeah, it is smart guy. Almost like having a brand new iPhone, but not pairing it with AT&T. That's true, Gordon Ramsay. Hey, fingers! It's not a buffet. Use the cocktail stick. Use the cocktail Sorry, stick. Chef. Get the most from your amazing new iPhone 11 Pro on AT&T, America's fastest network for iPhones. More for your thing. That's our thing. Hey, man. Oh, man. How you doing? My, my, my. How the tables have turned. What tables? Well, you have two agents. Now I have two clients. You've met my new Mahomey, Patrick Mahomes. We're friends. What? Is that why we're here? Well, that's why I brought you here. I don't know.